Hello, good evening and welcome. Happy Platy Jubilee Jubilees. Yeah, happy Jubilees, everyone. Uh, welcome to another of the Isolation Creation Quizzes. Uh, for those of you who haven't been to these before, they're just a good, fun, laugh, nice evening. Uh, it's not competitive. Um, you, won't have to, you won't have to tell us how much you're scoring if you want to. Yeah, there's no prizes. But just hang out with us. That's the prize. You get to hang out with us for the evening. And some of the rounds are much fun. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to it. Um, we are... Let's have a look who's in. So, uh, it's a bank holiday weekend, so we're hoping some of you are already a little bit merry. Over in the YouTube bar, we've got Mark Mondeum and Pearson, Tracy30, Nibbles and Bubbles. And they've got Nibbles and Bubbles on the go. They're both there tonight. Will Venus, Will Wiggs is in, Angela Larson, Sandra Brown. Ooh, Parmesana from Ooh, California. Parmesan. Hello, Parmesan. It's, it's just... noon in California. Noon, noon o'clock. It's after 12, you can have a drink. Uh, it's We've got who else? Andrew Chapman is in having a blood orange cider or Ooh, a glass of red maybe. Seven Network is in. Uh, Joel Hazeldean is here. Coral Daft is in. She's, uh, the other half, Mr Daft is also there. Uh, there's no rugby on tonight. So they've got the jam shed open, I am sure. Uh, BG Bear is in. Linda LeCuse is here. Rich Dudley is in. Helen is in with Larks. Helen and Larks are here. Uh, she says, give us a shout if she nods off. You won't nod off. We're going to be loud tonight. Scylla Black, the right royal queen herself. It wouldn't be a party without Scylla, would it? The late Scylla made an appearance. Then we have Paul McFarlane, and I'm sure his lovely wife is in. Diane. Diane. Uh, Diane. Diane's recaller. Uh, Angela Lost, noon in California. California, having a martini or two. Uh, who else is here? David Mordsey, so that's my mum and dad are in. Lee Ludlow from Lisbon, Norton Island. Uh, Marcia Maudsley, so that's my sister-in-law and my brother Ewan, I'm sure, is there with her. Uh, Leslie Ann Lynch Hello, is Hello, Leslie, in. love. Fizz is here. Pete Potofsky is in. Mike Kimber is in. Pete Potofsky's... Uh, partner, husband, has an art exhibition at the moment and it's wonderful. Very camp. I meant to show it you. Show um, me later. Yeah, there's a picture of Edith Massey. Oh, uh, Edith Massey. Alan loves Edith Massey. John Anderson is in. Uh, Marnie is here from Canada. Zanduck TV too. Any names I might have missed? Peggy's just gone downstairs, so you've missed her, everyone. Uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? JW. JW again from Canada. Lee Fern is in. Ali McGuinness is in. Happy birthday! Happy birthday, darling! For yesterday, happy Jubilee birthday. Um, here she is. Is in. Happy here Queen's weekend. Here she is. Kate Southworth. Uh, who else is here? I'm just gonna check. David Moray up, chaps. I think that's it. And over here in the uh, the royal the royal the royal rabbles turned up. Uh, lovely Anthony Berry, Ella Medeas. Suzanne Landry, Melanie Fairley, Oz, um, uh, lovely Gabrielle, Gabby, and uh, Jason Rigby with hubby Sean tonight. Uh, lovely Su Suzanne Landry, have I said Suzanne Landry? I think uh, you have. Um, yep, yeah. Gabrielle Chasse, Gabby Chassis. Uh, lovely Kate Riding, Lisa Driscoll from Canada. Lisa's got a tiara on. Uh, lovely Mark in the, in the house. Yaki Da. I'm sure Alex is going to be in soon. And Charlotte Foxell as well from Swansea. Yaki Da. The Welsh contingent are in. Lovely Caroline's. Caroline Humphreys. Um, we'll be seeing you soon, love, won't we? Yeah, next weekend. Caroline's coming to stay. Uh, lovely Sarah Simpson. I think your hubby's in the um, YouTube room. Uh, Richard Bobbins Duffer. Well, lovely double barrel shot name in tonight. Uh, keep going, love. Lovely Paul Brennan Foster. Uh, Cinders McDuffie, uh, Jason Brett, there he is, there's Alex. And Jonathan Brett Warren as well, so the, uh, Jonathan Brett and Jason Brett, Alex Clark. Uh, Filippo Giacomo Bracaforte, uh, Dame Sue Neal, wouldn't be a royal party without our Dame Sue Neal. Uh, lovely Ian Layton, Martin Garton Spence, with a lot of, lot of double barrel names. A lot there, of double right? barrel names, we, we attract a classy cl crowd. Um, Justin Coates, I think from Scarbright, Justin. Danny and Justin, just down the road. Hello, loves. And um, uh, uh, Zizi from Faversham. Paul and uh, Michael. Paul and Michael Brenham Foster. 
Uh, Bournemouth Cruise Easy, Mark Maria and Glenn Lee are in ah, the house. Hello, oh, Mark and Maria. They've gone down to the holidays to Bournemouth. Yeah, we were last all together, I guess, at Zoe's wedding. We were, yeah. Years and years, years ago, days before Peggy. Uh, lovely uh, Belinda. Oh, Belinda, she changed her name this week. A uh, lovely Belinda. Hello, darling. Belinda Balm. Uh, Elaine Simpson. I think you're Sarah's mum, aren't you? Hello, welcome. Uh, Nigel Allen TC. Nigel and Neil. Now, Nigel and Neil watched us on a train last time we did a quiz. Oh, yeah. And we're trying to keep the signal going. Thankfully, they're on, not on trains today, so we hope the signal's all right. Oh, Samantha. Hello, Samantha. Somebody, somebody, somebody. Uh, lovely Jason Brett. Tucking into a homemade trifle. De- Deeks. She's on her way. Oh, she's just popped in. Straight. Erica's on her way out. Oh, she's on her way out. <laughs> just making a grand entrance. Hello, goodbye. Uh, Stephen Richards. Uh, Caroline thinks Hick and Jojo are in as well, which is Caroline's mum and dad. So if they're here, Hick and Jojo, hello. Sounds like a little, little folk band. Hick they're and not Joe. called Hick and Jojo. That's my name for them. Uh, Robert Brown, Hillary Turner, is that her? Yeah, there we go, Hick and Jojo. Uh, lo- oh, oh, Martin's in, hello love, are you not working tonight? No, I think Stephen's working, Martin's oh, got, got Martin's his lallies up. Queen Martin's up with a bottle, bottle of champagne. Um, Chris Perinda. Lovely, oh, Chris is on his, in here tonight. Um, and that's everybody, I think. All right, my loves, well, welcome to the quiz um, anyone new who's just joined in YouTube, I can't go through all the names again, but I know that Pip has joined us. Caroline Ibbotson is in. Dale Ibbotson, most probably with her. Gareth in Porto is in. Uh, and of course, Scylla Black OBE is here. Uh, so tonight it's a pub quiz. Uh, the rules of the pub quiz, you get a pen and a paper. You write down your answers, and after each round, you mark yourself. Don't write the answers online. Yeah, don't write the answers on the comments, because then it spoils it for everyone else. So write them in uh, on a piece of paper. If someone does join us late and writes the answers down in the comments, you know, don't worry about it. Don't give them a hard time, but maybe give them a gentle nudge and say, oh, it's a quiz, write them on pen and paper. Uh we will, there's 10 questions I think in most rounds and we'll give you the answers straight after. There'll be a chance for repeats as well. Then you mark yourselves. Uh, you can think of fun team names. If you want to think of a fun team name, you can give us your team name and then your marks for each round. Um, and it is not us that tot up your scores, of course, um, because we're going to be busy running the quiz. So we are ably assisted, as always, by our wonderful assistants. The girls in our phone room, Sherry Stump and Brandy Cobbler. So let's hand over to the phone room girls right now and see if they're ready and if they've got any advice for you. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing in. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what it is. Some flat, some sort of flat Britain flags are up. Hiya! Oh, I better go, she's turned up. Oh, bloody made you queen for the day. Oh, sorry, I'm late. <laughs> I've been doing a um, parade round town. I'm the summer summer queen this Oh, you year. are, aren't you? Yeah. I voted for you. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, no, but I had a good time. Yeah. Ooh. I bet you had loads of blocks after you, didn't you? Well, not that many. Not as many as I'd hoped. Oh, OK. Not as many as I'd hoped. Anyway, I'm excited to be in, you know. What's again. going on? What's these Britain flags doing up? Well, it's a jubilee. It's a what? It's the Platinum Jubilee, Sherry. What's Platinum. I don't know, but it's the Jubilee, you know. What's the Jubilee? Well, it's here. We're celebrating Elizabeth's Regina. Oh, celebrating that? Yeah. Oh. 70 years. Is that, is that a lot for using it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. She's sure you shouldn't it? If I'd have done, I'd have a party for mine. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I think this bunch are here again. Look. I know, I can see them. So, um, see him nebbing. It's a quiz, nice. I know. Look at them ones there in Canada. I know, are ah, yeah. You're having chips and gravy and cheese. I've got any bount- mounties nearby. You love a mountie, don't you? Oh, I do. But as you know, I love a bounty while sat on a mountie. You love any sort of like man in uniform, don't you? I love you? uniforms, yes. Which is your favourite? Uh, the guy that's chippy. <laughs> he looks lovely in white. Anyway, it's quiz nice. It is. Um, you know the rules. It's meant to be fun. So 
You just have a laugh. You write down your answers on paper, not in the comments. And then you mark it yourself. Yeah. Um, you can cheat if you want. You can cheat if you want. The boys are going to give you the questions. They're upstairs and we're down here on Double Bubble. And if you've got any problems, you can phone in, phone us. And the gold phone. And we'll help you out. On the platinum phone. We're not going to be very good at the questions. And all your scores will come into our little computer here. And then the magic little, what's it called? The totting bot. The totting bot. We'll tot it all up, pop it out of its bot. And we'll tell you what you've got. Honestly, Sherry's like Carol Vorderman with these numbers. <laughs> but more, oh, yeah. but more brainier. Anyway, enjoy it, and we'll see you later. So, uh, did you manage to get a jump then today? Uh, I got three. Well, you know, fingers crossed. We are. They're sober anyway. <laughs> they're sober. Um, they're at least they've got the computer on and they're ready to go. So let's see if uh, I am ready with all my technology. If it was all set up properly, hopefully, like magic, we should be able to start the first start round. Start the first round. So this is. So have you got your pens and papers ready? Yeah, round one. Pens and papers at the ready. Um, so round one. Question one. This one is called royal families. This round. Question one. Which three actors have played the part of Queen Elizabeth II in the Netflix drama The Crown? Which three actors have played the part of Queen Elizabeth II in the Netflix drama The Crown? And you get a point for each one. Yeah, so we're looking for three answers. Evening Gareth Webb, popping in. Oh, she's on her holidays here. In, in Scarbados. And Andrew Turner. So join in in the quiz if you want to. Grab a pen and paper. If you're just here for shits and giggles. For what? <laughs> if you're just here for fun, then hang out. Uh, but yeah, question one you've had. So question number two. Remember, this is a royal family round. Question number two. In the royal family, what is Nana's name? In the royal family, what is Nana's name? So we're looking for Nana's full name. Not the actress who played Nana. We're looking for Nana's name. So it's royal family. It's all the royal families. She's got lovely hair there, hasn't she? Lovely head of her, Scylla. Question number three. How old was Prince Philip at the time of his death? How old was Prince Philip at the time of his death? I thought this would be easier. It gets easier. It gets easier. The first round's always dead difficult. It's not Nana Royal. She's not a royal. She's the other side of the family. She's not Jim's mum. You know, it's get a surname. You get, you get first a first name. name. So how old was he when he died, Prince Philip? Question four. What are the names of the royal's neighbours? What are the names of the royal family's neighbours? Pictures are up on the screen right now. So we're looking for their names, their first names, the characters. So what are the names of the three uh, people who live next door to the royal family? Question five. Which actress has played Princess Margaret and the Queen Mother in TV and film? One actress has played both of those people. So which actress has played Princess Margaret and played the Queen Mother? They're in different, she's played them in different things. Yeah, one was like a sort of docudrama, wasn't it? No. No? <laughs> no, on, B on BBC? No. Isn't it not? No. Oh. Don't listen to Alan. He's trying to lead you astray. Very famous actress. She plays it in The Crown. D Alan! <laughs> Don't give them the blues. Okay, number six. What is the song? What is the theme song of the royal family? And who sings it? What's the name of the theme song of the royal family? And who sings it? It'll get easier, I promise you it gets easier. I bet you're humming it now. 
What's the theme song to the royal family and who sings it? Question seven. Who is the eldest? Who's the oldest out of William, Harry, Meghan and Kate? Who is the oldest out of William, Harry, Meghan and Kate? See, some of you are saying you're not good at it. Will Venus is wiping the floor this round. Well, some so are, some people are going to be some good. are Riles and followers, aren't they? And some are not. Yeah, some of you. Some of the round. The, I promise you, the rounds will get easier, sillier, more fun as we go through. This is just to warm you up. This is to warm you up. This is kind of because it's the jubblies. <laughs> Question eight. Uh, that's Ricky Tomlinson and Sue Johnson who played uh, Mr. and Mrs. Royal. But they also performed as another married couple. Who were they and what was the show? So they played another married couple in a very famous TV show. What was the name of the show and what was the name of their characters? Question nine. Question nine. What did Dave and Denise serve for starter when they hosted a Christmas dinner in the royal family? What was Dave and Denise's starter when they hosted Christmas dinner? Alison McGuinness is storming this as well. <laughs> Everything's to play for. <laughs> Early days. Okay, that's question nine. What did they make as a starter? And finally in this round, question 10. Who is 10th in line to the throne? Who is 10th in line to the throne? Let's try and work it out. Who's 10th in line to the throne? And those are your 10 questions in our royal family round. So, do you want anything repeated? If you want to repeat, whack the number that you'd like repeated in the box. Remember, it's just for fun, so don't stress it. Um, but let us know what uh, what you'd like repeated, if you would like anything repeated. Hello to Peter Tomlinson. He's asking, how is the dog? The dog is fine. Can you see she's got a little neckerchief on for you? Yeah, the dog's got her little jubilees on. She's washing her little nails. BG Bear says it's so hard he's cracking his nuts out. Oh, well. Some you'll get, some you won't, but that's, that's life, isn't it? I didn't get many of the royal ones, the royal family ones. The royal family. Mark the Vickers just popped in. Hiya, Mark. So, no repeats. Anyone want any repeats? We have to wait because there's delays. We're just waiting for the delay to catch up. Melody says another, another 10 new questions would do. Next round, you'll get a new 10 questions. So repeats for number one and number two. So question one, Paul, was which three actors have played the part of Queen Elizabeth in The Crown? What three actors have played the part of Queen Elizabeth in The Crown? I'm not repeating all of them, David. Question two. In the royal family, what is Nana's name? So what's Nana... Nana's name in the royal family. Uh, if you think of um, Twiggy, Twiggy called her it all the time, didn't he? Uh, four and five. Uh, what are the names of the royal's neighbours? That's number four. What are the name of the neighbours to uh, the royal family, um, the Carolina Hearn sitcom? Number five. Which actress has played the part of Princess Margaret and played the part of the Queen Mother? in separate TV shows, or a TV show and a film. Carol Roberts joined us. Hiya, Dame. Oh, another Dame in the house. Uh, four and five. I think that's it. You're ready for the answers. I bet you're gra gasping for them, aren't you? Okay, let's go for the answers. So, number one, answer one. Um, we are looking for, the answer is Claire Foy, Olivia Coleman, and Imelda Staunton. Claire Foy, Olivia Coleman, and Imelda Staunton. Point for each. Question two. Uh, Nana's name was Norma. 
and it's Norma Speakman. But Norma was what we're looking for. Norma Speakman. Norma. Norma. Prince Philip. Prince Philip was 99 Ooh. when he died. 99. Nearly there, wasn't he? Yeah. Nearly, nearly got there. A, nearly got a telegram from his wife. 99. Uh, the royal family's neighbours. That is Mary and Joseph and their daughter Cheryl. So Mary and Joseph and their daughter Cheryl. Uh, the actress who's played both of these roles is Helena Bonham Carter. Helena Bonham Carter played the Queen Mother in The King's Speech and plays Princess Margaret in The Crown on Netflix. Uh, the song, the theme song of the royal family is Half the World Away and it's sung by Oasis. Oasis. So we're looking for Half the World Away and Oasis. Who's the eldest? The eldest is Meghan. Meghan Markle oh, is the eldest of really? those four. Yep, yeah, so Meghan. Question eight. They played, of course, Bobby and Sheila Grant in Brookside. Brookside. Bobby and Sheila in Brookside. Number nine. Dave and Denise made cup of soup as the uh, cup of soup as a starter for the Christmas dinner. Uh, a point each, sorry. Point each for Joe, Mary and Cheryl. So a point each for and a point Joe, each for Mary the, um... and Cheryl. Point each for the actresses who played the queen. Yeah, yeah. And number 10. Who is 10th in line to the throne? It is Princess Beatrice of York. Princess Beatrice is 10th in line to the throne. And if you want to know, uh, it goes uh, Charles, William, George, Charlotte, Louis, Harry, Archie, Lilibet, Andrew... And then Beatrice. She's got quite a weight then, hasn't she? She's got quite a weight. Mm. She's got quite a weight. Um, but there we go. So, uh, scores are already coming in. Eat Me Cafe and Social, Team Taffy Davenport, score is eight. Oh, well done. Theme tune and the band, Brookie and the Grants, it's just one, one point. So, they, they, that's out of 16. So, you can do half points if you only got half. Jonathan Brett Roar in three. Uh... Five for seven network. Bournemouth Babes, top ten. Thirteen, Paul Brennan Foster. Sarah Simpson got five. Andrew Chapman got eight. I'm going to go this side. Sue Neill got six. David Sarah Moore. Simpson got five. David Moore got five. Uh, Susan got five. Fizz got a dismal four. Uh, Samantha got seven. Will Venus, Team 13. Team somebody. Uh, Belinda got five. Le Elaine got five. Leslie Ann Lynch, nine. Paul McFarlane, nine. John J John James, ten and a half. Angela Larson, two. Pip, four. Lee Fern, seven. BG Bear, five. Ali McGuinness got 14. Um, I'll do some always gone up. Sorry, I've missed some scores. Kate Southworth got 11. Nibbles and Bubbles got eight. Uh, I don't know where you were. Around about there. Um, Charlotte Foxell, 11 and a half. Joel got five. Uh, Phil and Dick got 15 out of 16. Uh, six for Melanie. Justin Phil, got six. Phil and Dick, Dick thought it was Carrot Crush instead of Cup of Soup. Oh, yeah, yeah. The Scarborough Boys got six. Alex Clark got 12. Uh, Susanna Elizabeth George got 10. Gabrielle, 11. Uh, Stephen Richards got three. Hick and Jojo got five. Jason Brett got three. Gabby Chassie got six. Martin Garten spends 13. A lot of brain boxes this brain side. Brain boxes on that side. I'll have a look over here. I've missed anyone. Nibbles and Bubbles got eight. Uh, Marnie, one. Uh, Mark the Vicar was 10th in line to the throne. <laughs> Dale Libertson got 11. Pete Potofsky got eight. David and Anne got six. Parmesana got just one, but she's a yank. Cilla Black got seven. Rich Dudley got eight. Uh, Dawn Lovejoy says, can we please say Alexa before every question? Um, <laughs> John Anderson wrote Olivia Wilde as the answer to every question. Phil got a zero. Uh, Mark the Vicar got naught. Um, 
Well, well done, all of you, for taking part. I didn't get all those right. Well, I got the royal, the funny royal family ones right. I wrote them. Because he wrote the... And I wrote the uh, the royal royal family ones. Um, well, well done. We are now going to head over. So, throughout the night, you're going to meet our giggle boxers. Those of you who come to our regular shows will know the giggle boxers already. The giggle boxers are going to be watching films. So you've got to guess what movie the Giggle Boxers are watching. All the clues are in the video. So you've got to listen out, listen for the clues, and you're just thinking you're just getting one film name. And there's going to be five of these throughout the night, and I'll give you the answers to these right at the end of the night, so it'll keep you with us. But we're going to hand over to the Giggle Boxers, so your job is to guess what film they are watching. Are you doing anything this weekend for the Jubilee? Well, I've got, I've got a day off work. You've got, are they having a uh, street party on your cul-de-sac? Yeah, yeah, everybody's going to bring some little bits, you know what I mean? So Erwin number 17 brings pork pies. Erwin uh, number 12 brings a big trifle. Oh, lovely. And I'm taking bloater sandwiches and a Swiss roll. Well, I see you've got your royal tin out. I have. I've got some biscuits out for oh. um, for the film. I thought some of ashes in it. No, no. Would you like a biscuit? Let's see what you've got. Only the finest. I think they're douche. Well, there's an oldie bourbon, a ginger nut, and a green custard cream. Oh, don't have that one. I, I, I think it's mint. I think it's off. Two out. Mrs. Buckham's told me, told me about this. So maybe Mrs. Buckham, she knows all about that, you know, L G T B and Q thing. Oh, do do you, Mrs. Oh, Buckham? Oh yeah. You, you support diversity. Yeah, I'm the I'm the band. I'm the dancing band. Oh, does she? It's one of Australia's best classics, isn't it? So I'm I'm a little bit confused. Are these 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 three ladies? Are they the the sisters of those three gentlemen that we met before? No, the same person, but they're, they're dressed as women. Have you had the drag queens? This one is like, it just seems like it's an episode of Drag Race, like RuPaul's Drag Race, but like really long. So they want to be a koch in a froch on a roch. A hoch in a froch on a roch. That's like you, when you went out with that redhead, you were a minge with a ginge on a binge. Oh yeah, what will I? Is it drag? Yeah, drag or not. Oh, you know, there's one thing I can't stand, it's men dressed as women. Is it meant to be funny? You can't go on that rock anymore now. Has it crumbled? No, you're just not allowed because it's like a sacred monument, really. A oh, sacred what? Monument. Monument. <laughs> I think I said monument. Monument. He's from that, that neighbours, isn't he? He is from that there neighbours. He's lovely, isn't he? He was all teeth and speedos in neighbours, wasn't he? Oh, uh, the deputy speedos. Mm. He was really gorgeous, weren't yeah. He still is gorgeous. He still acts. He pops up in stuff. He was in La Confidentielle. I did that at Bingo once. What did you do? The ping pong ball bit. <laughs> did you? Yeah. Oh, I remember you doing that. Funny, nobody ever won the game. You see, I like it until that bit when he gets that avatar in the little box up out. Oh, and he turns my guts. I can't. I said, turn it off. Turn it off. I'm not sitting here looking at a bit of average shit in a bockle. Is that General Zod? Yes, Neil before Zod. General, look at him. Doesn't he look different? He looks a bit gone though, doesn't he? He looks like she Sheila Stelfox. <laughs> he does look like Sheila Stelfox. I think they're all like gender fluid. They're them. I think they are all they them. I said that to my boss once. Said what? I smack you so bloody hard, you'd have to put a toothbrush up your ass to clean your bloody teeth. <laughs> the frocks are wonderful, aren't they? Well, yeah. an Oscar, the frocks. Well, yes. I've got a dress like that made entirely of flip-flops. How about you? Yeah, I might wear it on Friday, actually. I think I hope with new flip-flops, because flip-flops, as soon as you wear them, you know, the toe imprint. Ooh, and you're not wabby, you smell a rubber, won't you? Well, I often do. And great stage show. Wonderful stage show. Do you know what? I like the American remake of this one. Eh? They make, they make this with Patrick Swayze and Wesley Snipes. Oh, yeah. I like that one. Egg foo and th thank you everybody else. Thanks for the egg foo, Young. That's the one, yeah. Have you ever done that? What, been on stage? No, tucked. I, um, yes, I do. Yes, I have done. Yeah. 
I am now. Are you? Yes. Why, what have I thought? <laughs> it's like a fruit bowl down there. <laughs> have you ever been in the bush? Well, before I, before I took to the abbot, yeah. Oh. I don't think I'd like it. It looks so dry. You got all dry bushes. Not good dry bushes. No. Need a moist. You need a moist bush. Well, just to get get things growing, I guess. Yeah, that's right. Da 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 da. Did you guess it? Yeah. So you have got to write down what film you think those guys were watching. We're going to come back to them throughout the night. So you've got another four of those and we'll give you the answers at the end. Um, so the clues were all in there. Hopefully it wasn't too hard for you. Your scores have been coming in. So we are going to hand over to the phone room girls and find out who is currently in the lead. They're good questions, aren't they? They are. They're quite difficult, though, aren't they? I wouldn't know nothing about the Royals. I've suggested a round. Have you? Yeah. Are they going to do it? No, they're trying to piss off. <laughs> Apparently, you've got to sort of name people with a royal name that aren't royal. What, like Charles Dance? No. No. Barbara Windsor. Uh, oh, OK. Um, Queen Latifah. B.B. Uh, King. Um, Prince Nazim. Prince the Singer with Purple Rain. Um, oh, um, Queen. Just the band, yeah. Queen. Stephen King. Oh, um, yeah, they've got to be some... King, the singer, Paul King. Uh, Emma Bunting. Have you said Prince? Yeah. Um, can I just say... say Prince of Bel-Air. Prince of Bel-Air. The Prince of Bel-End. <laughs> Prince of Bel-Air. Yeah. Oh, did you see him slap that person at the Oscars? Oh, he did, didn't he? That was like you when you went to the butcher's convention, wasn't it? Yeah. With um, your boy boyfriend at the yeah. time. And it says something like, somebody in the audience got short and curlies on their head. Mm. And he went and braved him. <laughs> <laughs> did you go and braid him? Yeah, we all did. <laughs> no, the whole audience did. <laughs> <laughs> who was it who was presenting that? It was that little chef, wasn't it? The one with sticky fingers. Oh, but Auntie Squirrel Thompson. <laughs> Auntie oh. Squirrel Thompson. Hey, really not care who he you, was. You went and decked him. He was pissed. That's it. <laughs> These lot um, have sent in some scores, and, and some of them look. are doing well. Some of them aren't doing well. Oh, he's got a zero. I know. That one in Scarborough's doing well, isn't she? Oh, yeah, she is, isn't she? Anyway. I think she's a teacher. Enjoy the nice, keep sending your scores in, and um, we'll get on with it. So, what are coping stones? So, welcome back. Uh, thank you for anyone who's joined us late. We're in the middle of the quiz. You write down your answers on a piece of paper and tot up your own scores. We'll give you um, at the, end. the answers at the end of the round. So, round two. Round two is called BQ or AQ. You have to tell me if these people were born before the Queen became the Queen or after the Queen became the Queen. So, before the Queen or after the Queen. Um, I'm not. Should I tell people when the Queen became the Queen? Well, you might as well. Like, it's the Platy Jubes. So, you sort of know when she Just became the Queen. 70 backwards. <laughs> so, are these people over 70 or under 70 is kind of what you're looking at. Um, so question, it's like, this is like, true or false, you know, try it 50-50, we're making it easier for you guys. So, first question, number one, Sting, is Sting before the Queen or after the Queen? Is Sting BQ or AQ? Was he born before she became the Queen or after she became the Queen? Question two, Meryl Streep. Is she BQ or AQ? Is she BQ or AQ? Mr. T. Mr. T, is he BQ or AQ? Is he BQ or AQ? Is he before the Queen became the Queen or after the Queen became the Queen? So we think about when they were born. Celia Imri. So Celia Imri, is she before the Queen or after the Queen? Question five. 
Sue the Legend Pollard. Sue Pollard. Is she BQ or AQ? Look at those wizard sleeves. <laughs> we love a bit of Pollard. Number six, Mark Hamill. Luke Skywalker. The actor who played Luke Skywalker. Is he before the Queen or after the Queen? Linda Carter. Linda Carter. Wonder Woman. Was she born before the Queen became the Queen or after the Queen became the Queen? BQ or AQ? Grace Jones. Is Grace Jones BQ or AQ? David Hasselhoff. Oh, look at him there. BQ or AQ? Lovely head of her. And finally, lovely chest of her. And finally in this round, Kim Helga off of Alo Alo Hartman. <laughs> so Kim Hartman, who played Helga off of Alo Alo, is she before the Queen or after the Queen? So that is your round two, BQ or AQ. There were 10 questions there. Do you want any of those repeated? Hopefully not, because it's like 50-50, toss of the coin time. But if you have any repeats, let us know. Caroline Nibbitson says Dale's currently building a wall, so he's actually, he is actually thinking about coping stones at the moment. Coping stones. Oh, Pete Petofsky's partner, Sparrow Boy, uh, has appeared. Pete's computer has stopped working. Oh, Chuffin' Nora. Good job it's 50-50. Alison McGuinness peaked in round one. She says this one's a disaster for her. It's more or less guessing, really, isn't it? Yeah, it's Unless guessing. You, if you know what their ages are. Are they like, they're all around It's all a bit of fun. 50-50 stress. Okay, no repeats. So let's go for it. Go in for the answers, yeah? So the answers are... Sting. Before Queen? Before Queen, yeah. Sting was born in 1951. Meryl Streep. After? Before Queen. Ooh. Meryl Streep was born in 1949. Mr. T. I am getting no plane. What do you reckon? Uh, after. Yeah, Mr. T, after Queen. Mr. T was born in May 1952. And the Queen became the Queen in February 1952. Oh, so just then. Just. Celia Imrie. I'm going to go with before. Oh, after after Queen. Celia Imrie is after the Queen. Uh, 1950, uh, July 1952, if anyone wants to know. It's nearly Celia's birthday. Sue, the legend Pollard. Uh... Queen, Queen, before Queen Victoria? <laughs> Sue's always been around. She's before the Queen. 1949. Mark Hamill. Uh, after. Before. before. 1951, Mark Hamill was born. Linda Carter, Wonder Woman. Uh, before. Oh, after. After Queen. Linda Carter was born 1952. Grace Jones. Uh, after. Before. Before oh. the Queen. Grace Jones, the oldest of all of them. She was born in 1948. Wow. So she must be 74. 74, Grace Jones. Oh, wow. David, don't hassle the, hassle the Hoff. Must be after. Surely. I did hassle the Hoff once at a box office. <laughs> I'll tell you about that another day. Uh, hassle Hoff. After, yeah. After the Queen. Born two days after Celia Imri. Oh. <laughs> and Kim Helga off of a low, a low Hartman. Must be after. Before. before. Just before. January 1952. Oh, you're splitting airs here, aren't you? I tried to get someone who was born on the day she became Queen. Oh, you would. Um, But they were all like weird names that no one would have heard of. And she was like... The one that was born closest to that date that we'd have all heard of, oh, like from our, from this gang's kind of world. So 10, 
Ten points. If you get ten, if, if you get ten points, you get a bloody MBE. Uh, Sarah Simpson got seven. Belinda Baum got three. Mark Garton Spence got six. Richard Bobbins up for four. Caroline got eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Alex three. Filippo four. Zizi Atal at six. The Bob of Babes. Carol Rob got five. Uh, Paul McFarlane got nine. Seven Network got four. Parmesan got eight. Uh, California. Joel, seven. Andrew Chapman got six. Nibbles and Bubbles got five. Will Venus got four. My dad got four. Dale Ibbotson got seven. Ali McGuinness got four. Leslie Ann Lynch got four. John James got six. Kate Southworth got five. Boy Crazy. Pete and his partner got five. Pip got seven. David Moore got eight. Jan got two. Silla got most of them wrong. Uh, three for Jonathan Brett Warren. Do you want me to go I've up? missed some, yeah, because it's in by. Uh, Joel got seven. Uh, Stephen, oh, didn't say anything. Stephen oh, got, got three. three. Sorry. Kate got five. Hillary and Hawick and Jojo got seven. Uh, Jonathan Brett Warren, three. Justin, three for the locals. Um, Alan and Alan got te- ten. Minus five. <laughs> five. Uh, Lisa got um, five. Karen and Lisa. Karen and Lisa got five. Suzanne got five. Jason, four. Gabrielle, five. Uh, over here, I've got... Uh, who else have we got? Uh, Angela Larson, six. Elaine Meadows, five. Fizz got seven. Nibbles and Bubbles, uh, we have said five. Rich Dudley got nine. Lee Fernley, two options, got five out of ten. Lee Ludlow, four and a half. Not bad, then. <laughs> Not bad going. Um... It's like a drink. If it's a drinking game, you're already well on the way to getting drunk, everyone, Um, which is part of the fun. We are going to watch the Giggle Box for the second film. Uh, So some of you were confused because there's a little like intro to each of these films um, where they're just talking about the Jubilee. Uh, For example, uh, Bridget and Maureen were talking about the biscuits in the biscuit barrel. That's not to do with the film. When it says, what film are we watching? Then it starts with the film. Anyway. Film number two with the giggle boxes. Let's hand over. Oh, well, we're snowed under for Jubilee weekend, aren't we? Oh, they all want their hair done for Jubilee, oh, don't they? Mrs. Buckham, what are you having done? What's she having done? Well, she wants, um, she's calling it Everest. Oh. Mount Everest or something. The old ones love it, don't they? They yeah. love a little street party. Are you having a street party? Oh, yeah, yeah. Nice. I'm doing a couple of jellies. I don't know, we're most probably just going to pop some nibbles out on the patio, maybe invite next door round. A little, little cup of pims. You're welcome to pop round, pop in the hot tub if you'd like. Oh, I don't do hot tubs, do no. we, Mrs. Buckham? Oh, Not the last time. Oh, was that, oh. was that when she... Well, you know, oh. just let's say you never know when diarrhea is coming back, do you, Mrs. Buckham? Oh, that water went brown quick, didn't it, Mrs. Buckham? Oh, do you know what? I can't stick cartoons. I like this one because it's all animals, isn't it? There's no humans in it. No, they did do a remake, I think, with Idris Elba and Beyonce. Oh, yeah, no, I've seen that. But one. again, animals. Oh, I like uh, this. Oh, my God, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start crying already because, like, I know what's going to happen. I've seen this, like, a hundred times. I've seen it 101 times. Oh, Mrs. Buckham likes this one. She loves the Burns film, don't you, Mrs. Buckham? You show this to your grand Burns, don't you, Mrs. Buckham? She does. She sings all the words. I like the music in this one. Do you? Who wrote the music? Was it Elton? Oh, dear Dame Elton. I know this is from Disney, isn't it? Yeah. Have they got Candle in the Wind in it? No, I don't think so. I think it's, uh, Can you feel the love tonight? I bet you had these songs going round and round in your oh, head, don't you? bloody hell you do. Goodness me, and the words they're using. Call my potato from my mouth. Yes, I mean, it doesn't even make sense. Apparently, in one of the first screenings, they've cut that song. Which? Can you feel the love tonight? Yes, and Elton kicks off. Couldn't I've been on the end of one of Elton's kickoffs. Yes. Remember? Yes. When I stole his marmite? Yes. Oh, drama goodness queen. me. I had to get David to step in. If anything goes wrong, if one of the royals dies, or... Uh, some hams, you can always bank on him to do a song, can't you? you can, or is he bringing one out this weekend? Oh, he should do. He should do. I know Gary Barlow's muscling in on his territory. You'd never get Barlow doing a Disney film, would you? The only problem is you can't find many words that rise or pattern them, can you? 
Ooh. Glum, chum, bum. No, they get they. This is on stage. You can go and see it in London. They're doing a bus trip. Oh right. I might go down there and see it. Would you like to come? Yeah. You can. Don't get me a ticket to the theatre though. No. No. You're going to go and see something else. Yeah, I've got uh, a couple of shows lined up in uh, uh, Soho. Oh, wonderful! Theatrical shows. Well, you can call them that. Oh, that hairy pig's just broken wind. I haven't. Do you know that's the only uh, Walt Disney animal that parts? Oh, is it? Yeah. I'm sure Snow White lets rip. Oh, she was right, Jessie Sod. Well, them bloody apples. If you put it on really slow motion, sometimes you can see pictures of Mickey in the background. Oh, wow. You can see him in the stars. Oh. His outlines in the bushes. Oh. In little, little stones on the ground. Oh. And then when they pull a, bit, a, a bug out of a tree, it's got little Mickey ears. Oh, isn't that lovely? And apparently the animators put a cock in the clouds. I've not seen that bit. Oh, I like this bit. I found that poopa 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 very funny. They're a little bit, if they did this, like here, with women, we could play them parts. I know. They did all their recordings separately. Hey. Yeah, and they just made each other once, crossing each other in the corridor. Well, uh, and then years later, they were in that producers they together. They were in the producers together, I was going to say. Yeah. Just shows you, doesn't it? I got that off Barry Norman. Well, I mean, people would be surprised, but I've never met you. I know. This is all done with computer trickery. I'm talking to a cabbage on a broom handle. <laughs> and I'm in Glasgow. And it's more bloody intellectual. <laughs> so you're going to go get on the piss this weekend? Um... Yeah, can you change the way you address me? Because, like, I've changed my pronouns. So, like, I'm now a they, them. Are they, them going to come up for a drink this weekend? Yeah, I think they, them will. So there we, we are. Have a guess what it is yet? A little reminder, don't write down the answers in the comments. Uh, you're writing them down on a piece of paper. We're going to give you the Gigglebox films at the end of the quiz. Hopefully they're not too hard for you. Um, we should hand over to Sherry and Brandy to find out uh, how you're doing, to find out what your scores are. So let's go over to the phone room. So Sherry, I've got some photographs. Oh yeah. And um, they're of the royals. Oh yeah. I'm going to show you them, and I want to know, like, do you find them sexy? Do you find them horrible? You know, what 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 can you say about them? More or less, would I have them? <laughs> More or less, would you have them? Yeah. All right. Number one. Uh, his ears are too big. So you wouldn't. No, and he's about hundred, isn't he? Yeah, I don't know, but he looks happy, doesn't he? Oh, his, his lips are purple. I bet he's dirty. I oh, bet he's a dirty bastard, then. I don't do gingers. <laughs> do you not? No. I definitely have him. No. He got nude in Las Vegas, didn't he? Did he? Yeah, wasn't he on a stag night or something? He, he stripped at a pool table. Did he? Yeah. Did he get his little copper knob out? <laughs> did. So you wouldn't? No. All right, next one. I would when he had a proper head of hair. He's not got her now, has no, he? No, I, I think I'd still have him. Would you? Yeah. He's a helicopter pilot, I think. Is he? Oh, yeah. definitely. It'd be great to take me to Aldi. <laughs> well, you're, you know your way around a chopper as well, mm. don't you? I don't do women and uh, I don't do horses. <laughs> she looks like she'll smell of horse smock. She does. Oh, she's, she's, she's on a second fella, isn't she? In that photo, she looks like that, that new governor in Wentworth. Doesn't she? <laughs> Anne Reynolds. No, Pamela Rabe. Doesn't she? <laughs> she does, or a bit like that one with blonde hair who t tastes wine. I'd say, well, that's rare, that, because you don't see her laughing very much, do you? Next one. Again, I don't do I don't do minges, but um, I won't kick her out of her fart in. No, and she's... Um, you can see on the Netflix her in a scanties, can't you, in that thing she was in? Yeah, because she's an actress, isn't she? She was an actress. I don't think she is anymore. I think mm. she's just a media mogul. Oh, and now she can do what the bloody hell she likes. I like her, you know. Yeah, I know I a lot like of people her. don't. Uh, oh, he likes the boys, doesn't he? Does he? <laughs> He's married with Burns. Well... So is, so is uh, Donald on uh, Conifer Street. Oh, yes. Yeah. Seen him mincing around the back of Ammons. So you wouldn't? <laughs> no. <laughs> He's a bit gawky looking, isn't he? Uh, now, I'd have a... <laughs> 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 
Would you? She's a bag of laughs, isn't yeah, she? Yeah. Do you remember she went to live in a council house for a week? She did, you know. <laughs> yeah. She, uh, I think she's a bag, she's a bag of chips from our local chippy. But this well. is funny because earlier on you said you don't do women and you don't do redheads. Bloody hell, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I put that. I put that near the fire to keep the kids away from it. Bloody hell! It's like a football turned inside out. Whoa. All right, next one. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Is it Walking Dead? So it's a no. No. He was quite fit when he was younger. When he was younger, he was one of the Doctor Who's. Do you know, my dog was gnawing on a sausage that had more meat on him than that. <sighs> and finally. Yeah, I'd have her. Oh, yeah. God bless her. I wouldn't do anything horrible, so I'd just give her a little cuggle. God bless her and all that sail in her. Do you know what I'd do? I'd bring her round, put in a little chair, put a blanket on her lap, give her a little cup of tea, and a rich tea. It'd be royalty. We'll be in them posh biscuits. Posh biscuits. We'll that you get in a box, in a tin, where they're in little, yeah. bi little segments. I'd give her the little pink fingers. She'd like that. And we can watch uh, Corrie together. Oh, I think she'd like that. Yeah, I think she would. Anyway, that's the end of that game. Who is she, anyway? <laughs> <laughs> is she in that one on my pen face? Where's my purse? Sorry, Camilla. Oh, honestly, we had a lot of fun <laughs> filming oh. all this for you. Um, I just want to remind you, uh, like, if you're laughing, if we're making you laugh, if you're enjoying yourself, you can always tip us at this address here. Uh, it's like you can throw some quids in our, our hat. Uh, it's or like, you know, if this was a show at the theatre, would you buy a ticket? Um so you can go there, you can put... It's dead easy to do. It's a few clicks. Uh, you do it by PayPal, you can do it with a credit card. So it's um, coffee.com forward slash isolation creations. It's called like where you can buy us a coffee. Or if you're deeply offended, you can sue us. Or if you're deeply offended, yeah, you can sue us. Um, but yeah, I hope you're enjoying it. Uh, I hope you're having as much fun as we had um, creating this quiz for you. So we're back to another of my rounds. Um, hopefully it's not too hard for you. Uh, so this will not answers. This one is called Royal Cameos. Um, so the royal family have uh, made cameos in TV shows and movies um, across the years. I've got stills of their appearances. However, our Sherry Stump has uh, replaced herself in these uh, TV shows or movies. Your, you've, all you've got to guess is what royal is Sherry Stump hiding? And if you're not sure, just have a little guess. Yeah, what royal is just she some hiding? Some of them I didn't, I didn't know, but um, just have a little guess. So what royal is Sherry Stump hiding? So there is number one. <laughs> Who's Sherry Stump in front of? Number two. Who's Sherry Stump in front of there? Which royal is she hiding? Sorry, I'm laughing. Question number three. Which royal is Sherry Stump I'm laughing at Deirdre, Deirdre's expression. <laughs> so which royal popped into Coronation Street and met Liz, Liz MacDonald? Sherry Stump's hiding them from you. Question four. In the middle there. Who is Sherry Stump covering up? Question five. Who is Sherry Stump hiding from you all? And if you're wondering what that, that's the archers. So one of the royals popped up in the archers. Which royal was it? Number six. <laughs> Which royal is Sherry Stump hiding from what's you? That, what's that from? That's from a film called Young Victoria. 
So one of the royals made a cameo in Young Victoria. Who was it? Number seven. Can you see Sherry? There she is on the left of the photograph. Who's she hiding from me? I think it's the left. I don't know because it might be flipped around on your screen. Who's Sherry hiding? Question eight. <laughs> is that Meatloaf? That is Meatloaf. Who was with Meatloaf? Who was with Meatloaf? That's from, uh, that's in 1987. Number nine. Who is Sherry hiding from you there? And finally in this round, number 10. <laughs> Who is Sherry covering up there? Is that a TV programme, that one? That's a TV programme. That's cars. from, yeah, that's from 2019. Do you want any of those repeated? Does anyone want a repeat? So the royal cameos. You're guessing what royal was making the cameo. Sherry Stump's face was over them to hide them. Um, do you want any repeats? Any repeats? Hopefully you've not all left because these are too, too random and too hard. It's meant to be fun. So fingers crossed it's keeping you laughing and with us. Number four. Nibbles and Bubbles want all of them repeated. Number six, John, Justin and Danny up the road. Shall I run through them all again really quickly? Yeah, you just flick them through, can't you? Yeah. Um, let me try to see if sure. I can. Okay, number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. <laughs> Number five. Last night's EastEnders inspired this round. <laughs> Number six. Put a big screen for you. It's the blue earrings. <laughs> Number seven. Number eight. Number nine and number ten. So hopefully you've got ten names on your bit of paper uh, and we will give you the answers. So the answers for this round. Number one, Sherry Stump is hiding the Queen. Uh, the Queen was in uh, a Bond film, a little specially made Bond film for the... Uh, the Olympics when they were in London, mm. 2012. Number two, who is Sherry Stump hiding? So this is from uh, the, a program called the Royal Tournament or It's a Royal Knockout. That's from 1987. The green team, if you look behind, you can see um, Lois Lane, Annika oh, Rice wow. and John Travolta. And they were all on... Naughty Prince Andrew's team. Is that Andrew? So that's Prince Andrew. Oh, right. So Prince Andrew was the answer. Number three. Uh, this was uh, Coronation Street. Uh, their 40th anniversary, December 2000. Uh, it was a live programme. And Charlie popped in. So that's Prince Charles. The Prince Charles. Who is in the red team in It's a Knockout? Um, faces that you can see in there. Tom Jones is leaning down on the ground there. I think Sheena Easton stood up. Um, Kevin Klein is at the back there. And Cliff, Cliff Richard. Um, and I think em Emlyn Hughes. Was there a name? Was someone called Emlyn Hughes? Yeah, anyway, he was a footballer, wasn't he? red team was led by Princess Anne. So Princess Anne was your answer there for number four. Number five, who was in the Archers? In the Archers in 1984, Princess Margaret. So Princess Margaret. In Young Victoria, making a cameo in Young Victoria was 
Tenth in line to the throne, Princess Beatrice. So Princess Beatrice made a cameo in Young Victoria, the film. Number seven, the yellow team was led by none other than, and it was his idea the whole programme, Prince Edward. And I think behind Prince Edward, you've got Kiri Takanawa, Steve Cram, Tessa Sanderson, John Cleese, and I don't know, but someone who looks like Daniela Westbrook, but it can't be. It looks like he's got the best photo, because he looks to a crap photo, did not they? <laughs> <laughs> Dead hard to find any proof of this programme, even. Uh, Emily Hughes gave uh, out swimming medals for school. For my, for my school, Caroline? I don't remember him. Did you, I... Did you not get a medal? No, I never swam at school. Didn't like showing off me lallies. He was having tea in a china cup. Uh, number eight... Uh, get, so this is again from It's a Knockout, and the only other team was led by Fergie. And apparently uh, Fergie was flirting with Meatloaf, so um, Meatloaf and Prince Andrew had a bit of a fight. And uh, one of them ended up in a moat. I don't know if that's true. I don't think that would have been Meatloaf in a moat, would it? No, I think Andrew would have ended up in the moat. Uh, number nine, Friends. Uh, Friends from 1998. Friends, the uh, sitcom. You don't like it, do you? Well, I've not watched many, but... Uh, but I guess they came to London for Ross's wedding to the girl from Surgical... Oh, I can't remember her name. Helen Baxendale. Anyway, uh, Joey went out and met Fergie. So Fergie popped up again. And number 10 in Top Gear was none other... And I think there might have been a clue in the background there, but that is none other than... Zara Tyndall. So, um, Zara Phillips, Princess and daughter. Um, so, there we are. Ten. A few tricky ones there, weren't there? Yeah, ten questions. So, what did you get? Uh, Kate Southworth got six. Um, I think just Kate's the only one who scored anything. <laughs> Andrew Chapman got seven. Fizz got five. Seven Network, two. Jason Darcy, six. Angela Larson, two. David Moore, five. Paul McFarlane, seven. Pip, six. Ali McGuinness, six. Parmesana, two. Ellen Meadows, six. Leslie Ann Lynch, six. Dale and Caroline, six. Dame Silla Black, two. BG Bear, seven. Nibbles and Bubbles got nine out of ten. Well done. John James, six. Just wrote Fergie for most of them. Uh, David Mund and got five. Over on this side, we've got... Uh, Sarah Sarah Simpson got two. Martin Garland spent seven. Uh, Melanie got six Mark got six Elaine got two Alex got six Richard Bobbinstuff got five D- Dame Rob got two-ish uh, five-ish for Filippo uh, Zizi got five Gabby Chassie got two uh, Justin Coates got four Hilary Hick and Jojo got five uh, Gabrielle got nine well done love well done Karen and Lisa got three uh, over here Rich Dudley got five Jan got four, Lee Fern got seven, Lee Ludlow got one, Will Venus got six, Mark the Vicar got six, Joel William Hazeldean got four, um, Belinda Balm got four. Um, we are going to be taking a break shortly. Um, before we go to break, we have got another uh, Gigglebox movie for you. So... Um, you've got a, the clues are there. There's a little introduction, which is nothing to do with the film. Then after the title, they, after the title, they start watching the film. What film are they watching? And we'll be back after this. Goodness me, seventy years! I know, seventy years on the throne. Oh God, bless her, and all who sail in her, or sailed with her. <laughs> I do so love the royals. I've got my. Uh, Princess Di Tie Die Tie. I did notice it was very beautiful. It is. From QSC, wonderful <laughs> shopping channel. Great shopping channel, yes. So let's have a watch of this film then. Oh, this is. I do like a romantic film. This is lovely. Oh, it's like Columba reading that story to that little bear. It is. Peter Falk, lovely actor. Oh, what a lovely job that must have been. Just sat on your ass reading a storybook. Mrs. Buckham's got an eye like him, hasn't she? She has. It's called a wall eye named Mrs. Buckham. I don't know whether she's looking at me or looking at the price list. <laughs> <laughs> so this one is like about knights and like fairy tales, yeah. is that right? It's like a cartoon come to life. You know this little boy in bed? 
Oh yeah, how old then? I think he's 52 now. Oh, is he? Yeah, doesn't it make you feel old? Is that old man with the one key eye dead? Makes you feel dead old, doesn't it? I turned it on does. EastEnders the other day. Oh, so yeah. Sonia's got a grown-up bane. Has she? Yeah. And Sharon just gets younger. <laughs> Oh my god, I think like these people are like a hundred now because this film looks like it was made in like years ago, like 1980 something. This was made when Shrek was made in them times. No, like it's set when Shrek was set, but it's not made when Shrek was made. Hundreds of years ago. Yeah. When Cinderella was made. Yeah, I mean it's, it's like not my cup of tea. I'm confused, is Buttercup the name of the cow or the girl? Ah. Uh. Isn't she pretty? Oh, as you wish. Oh, my mum, my mum looked like that. What? The lovely buttercup? No, like that big giant. <laughs> I like that big, big one. I was watching him when he used to do the wrestling in America. You, you like wrestling, don't you? Oh, yeah. Slam dunk. Slam dunk. Oh, I remember you took me to the community centre to see that one. Yeah, for charity. Oh, yes, they were hitting each other with metal chairs. Yeah, and that's a tour for the library, wasn't it? <laughs> that was. Bloody hell. You used to like the wrestling, didn't you, Mrs Buckle? Oh, she did, didn't you? Like the daddy, didn't you? And that giant hair stacks. Oh. She used to come home, Nicholas. Take them off and throw them at him. Mrs Buckham. You're a dirty bastard, were you, Mrs Buckham? <laughs> You used to wrestle like Andre the Giant, didn't you? I did, yeah. You were a professional, weren't yeah. you? Yeah. What, what was your name? They thought I was Italian. <laughs> did they? What yeah. was your name? Sherry Decanter. <laughs> what did you used to do? Smack the bloody shit out of him. Wonderful. I wonder if he's giant everywhere. Mm. No, I like the name Humperdink. Yeah, there's that singer, wasn't they? Who's that? Egelbert Hump Humperdink. Oh, I don't know him. Please release me, let me go. You don't love me anymore. No, I don't know him. I like dance in the morning. Dance in the morning, said the Lord, said he. I am the Lord of the dance, said he. And you piss me off whenever I see thee. Bloody oh, yeah. hell. I do like a 1980s film, but I prefer Brat Pack films. Yeah. He's not in the Brat Pack, is he, this one, the main actor? No. He didn't really do anything else, did he? Oh, he did a lot to me. He, but he wasn't in anything else, was he? I can't he, remember. He, he can get in me. <laughs> He's good as Wesley, but he didn't really do now else. He can do, do stuff with me, that's good. He's bloody gorgeous, isn't he? Now this one, with the, with the um, little moustache, he's in Yentl. Oh, is he? He is. I love Yentl. Wonderful film. He's nice in that, but he's got a girl's name. Man uh, Mandy. Oh, is he? Is he called Mandy? He is. A man called Mandy. Would you believe it? And what's that short for? Mandel. It's oh, a, really? It's a Jewish name. Mandel. What's his surname? Uh, Patinkin. What? Patinkin. Are you sneezing again? No. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guess that one? So yeah, there's another film. There is a theme in the films. You should be now getting into there. There's a theme. There's something running through all these uh, films that links them all together. We're going to give you the answers, of course, at the end of the quiz. Uh, we are about to take a short break, so it's going to be a 10-minute interval. Before we take the interval, let's go over to the phone room, girls, and just make sure that everything is all right and that they should have... Now, who is in the lead? Um, no, you're going to have to talk a bit slower. I can't understand your accents. I'm just, it's them Welsh boys. Hello. Ach, welcome. Hi, Jupin. The cu cupping stones. Oh, hi. I didn't know you. Oh. I didn't know you were fluent in Welsh. I watched probably go. Yeah, mummy. Yeah. On spaghetti hoops. And a ping ping. Thank you, for glad. Lovely lad. Oh, were they going to pop it in the poppy ping? No. Um, anyway, you lot, if you've got a problem, phone in like the boys just did and we'll, we'll gladly help. And I'm going to go out and get a these drinks. It's like the bloody Sierra Desert in here. I know, we should be having a nice party, if only for the dear old Queen. Well, I haven't got any money, so I'll have to do my usual. All right. So, can you make way for the mushrooms? <laughs> All right, off Thanks. you go. Um, listen, 
come back there's going to be an interval I think so come back after the interval and we'll definitely have sorted out your scores and we'll let you know who's in, who's in the charge come on, let, let me out with the bloody door alright love Oh, well, sorry about that. Uh, obviously, we're going to have to... I'll go down and check what's going on and check that they're up to date with the technology. Maybe they just need to do an update on their laptop. So we are going to take a 10-minute break. Um, so it's 10 minutes. Uh, so set your clocks now. Look at whatever it is now, because I'm doing it on stopwatch. Uh, we'll be back in 10 minutes' time. With a special guest. With a special guest. See you in 10 minutes. And that's a uh, forty percent proof. Oh, brilliant! So all together, we're just going to be paralytic. We are going to be well and truly a rat house. Brilliant! These lot are back. Oh yeah. Um, so we can get on with the quiz, Sherry. Where do you get the money for all this? I didn't need money. You, you nicked it. No, I was uh, dancing for it. You were dancing yeah, for I went, it? Yeah, I went to a, a jubilee party. Down at the ship? Yeah. So I was dancing away on a table, and this gorgeous guy comes up, and he says, Oh, great legs. I said, Oh, thank you, very glad. He said, Normally, most tables would buckle under that weight. <laughs> Cheeky bastard. <laughs> so, yeah, stripping again to get your bloody booze on your neck. Stripping again. What, what name do you strip under, Sherry? Twerky Twizzler. Well done you for getting that What's in. What's that there? Oh, I thought we'd have a bit of a laugh. Um, here we go. So, uh, if I put that in there. So I don't know if that's had any effect. A little bit. So that's where, do you want to have a go? So I'll put my mouth around that hole. Oh. Really breathe it in. Thank you very glad. Do it again. Thank you very glad. <laughs> it's working. Breathe it in, go on. It's not working for me. It bloody is. Go on, have another go. Oh, there's dragon and there's chuck. Anyway, we're... We're going to get on with this and call, we'll see you in, a bit, in about 20 minutes. See you in 10 minutes. <laughs> All right, thank you very glad. Oh, you're not going to have mine then? Oh. I better not. Oh, it's <laughs> bad for your health. All right, well, let's get on with the drinks. <laughs> All right, see you in a minute. Bye. <laughs> well, we've been joined. Um, we've been joined. <laughs> we've been joined by none other than um, Her Royal Highness, uh, the Queen Mum. Uh, bring, well, bring cold over that rainbow bridge. <laughs> So um, the Queen, Queen Mum has come back. How come you've come back, Queen Mum? Uh, the village you gave me the call. She said you need my help. Um, so, uh, yeah, so Divinity has summoned the, the ghost of the Queen Mother. She's wafted in to help us out with a round. Um, how are you? A bit skint, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. How's, um... It's expensive up there, you know. Is it? Yeah. You're not, oh, because you you've got to work harder, I guess, because here you got everything for free and up there maybe you have to work, pay for stuff. Well, all my horses are up there. Uh, <laughs> um, so we've got, um, you've come to help us with the quiz, yeah? Well, I'm over. You're going to help me. Um, so we've got a couple of messages have come in. So uh, Melanie Fairley says, watch out for them fish bones. Uh, Scylla Black. Scylla Black's in. She might be a friend oh, of yours. Oh, Priscilla. <laughs> Um, lots of people saying hello to you. Matter of a variety lots of people saying bless you, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, Silla Black says it's not just her that's from over from the grave. No. Um, so yeah, uh, Belinda Barn would like to know was it cold in the ground this morning? Well, I'm on. I'm at a funny angle, aren't I? I'm on some hillside, aren't I? How's Windsor? 
Oh, are you buried on the hillside? Yes, yeah, some kind of hillside, I think. Oh, okay. I didn't um, ask for that. All right, well, I think you're here to help us with our quiz, aren't you? Well, you're sort of here to help me. I had a little bit of a float around Clarence's house, and I found a box of my old, my old stuff. A box of Queen Mum Mumrabilia. Yes, and I was wondering if you could sort of help me sell it on. So you're gonna you're gonna sell some of the Queen Mumrabilia? Yes. Uh, eBay user Liz Bow is 1900. <laughs> yes. Okay, so eBay user Liz Bow is 1900. Yes. Um, and you've got some items to sell. Yes. Yeah, I'm short of a few things up there. All right, and so our viewers have got so for the quiz. Our viewers are going to guess... Um, what well, I'm going to show an item of mine, and you've got to guess whether it's higher or lower than the item I'm, I'm after. All right, so yes. you've got to, to guess if the item of Queen Mumrabilia is valued higher or lower than the other item that we show you. Yeah. So you've got to work out, is the Mumrabilia higher or lower? Yeah? Yeah. Hopefully oh. that makes sense to you all. Have you seen Baxter's Billy? Who's Backstairs Billy? Yeah, Backstairs Billy? I think I might be Backstairs Billy. Oh, I know you're one of them, yeah. <laughs> we were Walter Ward in gays at Royal Lodge. <laughs> you, lo- <laughs> you loved all the gays, didn't oh, you? Oh, I love the black gays. It's Pride Month as well. It's what? Pride Month. What's that? Like, to go out and have fun. Look, I've got my, um, I don't know if anyone can see, I've got my, my sequin trousers on today. Oh, lovely. Can't really see them. Okay. Yeah, I've got... Shirley Bassey. Sequin, sequin slacks on for the quiz. So, higher or lower, that's the, that's the name of the game. So I'm flogging off. Yes, flogging off the first item. So the Queen Mum's boot fair, yeah. the first item. It's a postcard of me and a, 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 a dodgy looking cloud and a child. So a po- this is a postcard of the Queen Mum with a clown and a child. My 87th birthday. And we would like to know if this postcard is higher or lower than... A cost of a Weatherspoon's pint of ale. <laughs> so is the postcard of the Queen Mum valued at higher or lower than the cost of a pint of ale at Weatherspoon's? Okay, well, that, that clown... Question one. That clown stank of ale. <laughs> that he <laughs> did he? Yes. Was it Backstairs Billy? Was it one of the Backstairs Billys, the clown? He was a Backstair something, but he wasn't Billy. All right. Yeah. So question one, is the postcard valued higher or lower than a pint? Question two. Now, this is a cute little thing, isn't it? It's a... Does it go over a toilet roll? Sorry? Does it go over a toilet no, roll? No, and it's not to put on top of a tree. It's a Peggy Nesbitt doll of me <laughs> in my state attire. All right, so it's a Peggy Nesbitt doll yeah. of the Queen Mum. And I'd like to know if it's higher or lower than a litre bottle of chocolate gin. <laughs> well, that and double A. So is the doll valued on eBay at higher or lower than a bottle of Tanqueray gin? A litre. A litre Let's go of big, gin. Doll. Let's go big here. <laughs> you like it big? Oh, I like it big. So the backstage Billy. Question three. Now, this is a beautiful Christmas card from 1969. Yeah. Yep. And I gave it to some aristocrat who, the, who obviously didn't want it and sent it back. Now, I'd like to know if this is higher or lower than a bottle of my favourite perfume. So is, this is an actual, a Christmas card signed by you back yeah. in the day. Gorilla Blue Perfume. <laughs> And you'd like to know if it's uh, higher, higher or lower, or lower than, than my favourite bottle of perfume. That bottle of Guerlain Parfum. Yeah. Okay. So, question number... What number are we on now? Question number five. Number four. Yeah. Now, this is a Kevin Francis Queen Mother Toby jug. Um, I'm not all that keen to me on it. It looks like I'm sat on the, on the Thomas Crapper, doesn't it? Let's have a look at it. Look at that. <laughs> that looks like John Wayne. So we'd like to know if that Toby jug is higher or lower than a nana hip blast. <laughs> oh, so I have one in the handbag. Where's my chair, by the way? It's my handbag. Oh, sorry. Do you like a little chair for your yeah, handbag? Yeah, I don't like bending down. So is it? It's a it's a hip blast engraved with the word nana yeah, on it. So is the Toby jug higher or lower? 
than the Nano Hip Flask. It's from Argos. <laughs> Blade Mail. I forgot about that. Let's have a look at that up close. Jesus Christ. What is this? Now, this is a small canvas made by somebody called Bloody... I don't know what her name is now. Stubbs Woman. And um, looks like a at my bloody ready brick, doesn't he? Now, so I this like... is a canvas print or a, an original artwork? Yes. Okay. And I'd like to know if it's higher or lower than a 50 quid bet. <laughs> <laughs> than a 50 quid bet? Yes. Yeah. You like the... You, did you like gambling? Oh, I love my horses. You love your oh, horses? Oh, yeah. Love your horses? Oh, yeah. Spent too much on them, to my all right, so that's question. Is that question number five? Yeah, it, I must. It, it is a print. The p- picture of me. It's not. It's not an original. It's not an original. It's no, a it's a print. print. You get them on, on, on this computer web thing. <laughs> on eBay, yeah? yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, so it's uh, eBay. Is the uh, the print canvas print of the Queen Mum more or less higher or lower than a fifty pound bet at William Hill? Now you know I've never washed up in my bloody life. No, I've not washed one. Sodding this. Not even during the war. Nope. <laughs> and uh, so this is a little dishwashing sponge. And I'd like to know if it's higher or lower than my favourite smoker's toothpaste. <laughs> <laughs> Marvis toothpaste. So higher or lower than a tube of Marvis whitening mint toothpaste. Only the best for me. <laughs> Let's have a look at your ashes. Keep these pearly whites. <laughs> You'd have teeth like this if you weren't 20 years old. <laughs> Where's your little corgi gone? Oh, the corgi, it's too hot in here for the corgi. A bit gobby, wasn't she? So that was a dishwashing brush, higher or lower than uh, the toothpaste. And it's mint, mint condition, unused. What are we up to now? Number seven. Now, this is an oars brass. I'll turn over your page for you, my love. This is an oars brass, which I nicked from a country pub. <laughs> Put it, put it in the old hand bag. And I'd like to know whether it's higher or lower than the course of my favourite Greek fags. There they are. Karelia. I'll show you fag in Greece. So, uh, Baggy Puss 69, write the answers down on a piece of paper. Don't write them in the comments because um, it's a quiz. We're going to uh, give you all the answers at the end of the round. So, um, yeah, the horse brass... Horse. Higher or lower than my favourite box of fags. Than a box of cigs from Greece. I used to have four a day. Did you? Yeah. Just four? Just four. Yeah. Now, this is Royal Dalton. Number eight, a Royal Dalton. To degree. celebrate my 90th birthday. And as you can see there, I put it next to a, a tin of Coca-Cola for scale. <laughs> and I'd like to know the cost of that and whether that is higher or lower then a pair of my favourite heels from Ra- Raiders of London. <laughs> yeah. So is the Royal Dalton figurine higher or lower than those heels? Next one. Now this is a pile of shit I've ever saw. I, I don't like Bell's whiskey and I don't know why they did it. I don't <laughs> touch it. It looks bloody awful. I look as smug as a docker in it. <laughs> now this is a decanter of 75 cents. I've just not even a shot at it. Three shots. I don't know. It's a 75, 75 mil. Centiliter. That was a bottle, isn't it? Yeah. A Bell's whiskey in a bloody bell with my fizzog on it. <laughs> now, this again was brought out from my 90th. And I don't know if it's higher or lower than a strand of a uh, three strand glass pearl beard necklace. So the glass pearls, not real ones, and it's three strands of the buggers. All right, so higher so, or lower than a three strand glass pearl necklace. So, there's the little picture for all of you who want to see the picture up close. Is that Bell's whiskey and it's full, it's full, not open. No, it's sealed, untouched, mint, sealed. mint condition. All right, and now the last one in this round, people. Last one. Now, this is a quite, quite, a, quite a thing. I, I walk around Clarence's house and notice that she's using it as a doorstop. <laughs> It's a life-size brass bust of myself. Not very flattering. I can see wrinkles on my wrinkles. Wrinkles. <laughs> and I'd like to know if this is higher or lower than an antique Victorian diamond tiara. 
All right, so higher or lower than an antique Victorian diamond tiara? There was only three of these busts made. All right, well, so there's your ten. Ten items that the late Queen Mother is selling uh, on eBay currently. and uh, Plus shipping. <laughs> not paying for shipping. So they've got to pay for shipping Yay. for all these items. Yes. How are you going to ship them? What? What are you going to use to ship them? Royal Mail? Arids? Arids. Arids, Arids will ship it for me. Hermes are quite good. Yeah, what? Hermes. Every. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're called every now. Yeah. You're very good to know that. Yeah. Um, so, uh, I guess there's no repeats, are there? Yeah, no repeats for that round. They must probably sound rather confused. They're all just a bit giddy and confused and a little bit drunk. Would you like a drink? I'm going to have one on the way, on the way out. What, what do you drink? You don't know what I drink? Gin? Gin and Tabonet. Oh, Gin and Tabonet. 3070. <laughs> Is 30, that the ratio? Yeah. I thought you'd have pints. Bit of lime reason. under the ice. Oh, well, hang on. Put that back up. Got that. I've got your wrong name under you. What? Me? Eh? No, it's all right. You're fine. Um, so let's have a look. So let's have the answers. Queen Mum's Boot Fair. Queen Mum Rebelia. First one. Well, this is from nine, yeah, from my 87, so it should be worth something. Uh, <laughs> £2.30? Is that all? Unfortunately, it was valued at £2.30, Queen Mother. Um, it's higher than uh, a pint of ale from Weatherspoons. One ninety five for Abbott's. One ninety five for a pint of Abbott's in, in the spoons. So the answer there was higher now, this is a quite a rare doll. There weren't many made, so they're quite a collector's piece. So you're hoping to get quite a lot for oh, this? Oh, yes, yes. 20 bling quid? <laughs> yeah, that went for 20 quid. Oh, that's look a bit like Claire Balding, doesn't it? <laughs> it does look a little bit like Claire Balding. And the tanker is 26 from Sainsbury's. So it was lower. This no. answer was lower. Oh. Now, now... I'm like, I'm, 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 I'm 20 quid, 30 quid. Oh, really? 250. Well, it is signed, isn't it? Yeah. It's signed, yeah, 250. 250, and it's going to be cheap to ship it as well. Well, it's, I'll pop one of her stamps on it. <laughs> um, I can get four bottles and a perfume for that. It's only about 60 quid a bottle, that. So it's higher. The answer is higher. Smashing. Which, one, which number are we on now? This is number... Good job, yeah. The jug is number four. Number four. Forty quid. Forty quid? Well, it's a bit shit, isn't it? Yeah, but it's more than the doll, eh? Double than the doll. Yeah. But there weren't many made. Well, I think it's going to be higher, isn't it, than the flask? Higher. Higher yeah. than the hip flask. How much was the hip flask? Fourteen ninety nine on of eBay. <laughs> Fourteen ninety nine. Okay. You can change the word to granddad or, <laughs> or brother or sister ma'am. or... Or ma'am. Mam as in ham. Not mam as in jam. Not mam as in harm. <laughs> Next one. Gee, I, I, I wouldn't pay a penny for the bloody, bloody thing, would you? I don't know. So uh, your bet is £50. We know that. So this is... £49.91. £49.91 for that picture of you, your good self. That includes the shipping. So that's lower. That's lower, isn't it? Lower. I don't think that'll shift. <laughs> oh, now this must be must be worth something. Look, look, it's a, it's, it's a washing up brush. Oh, well, use Queen Mum washing up brush and a Lisa brush. Yeah. Six ninety five is that all? Six ninety five. Lower. Yeah, six ninety nine. The Marvins from Amazon. <laughs> six ninety nine for a bot tube of toothpaste. Well, look. The horse brass. No. All right. Well, I like the horse brasses, but I don't know how many were made. Five quid. Five quid? Is that all for five quid? Oh, five Ooh, quid. The Karina is about 40 quid at the moment. Are oh, they? Yeah. So it's lower, lower, lower than yeah. the six. What number are we on now? We're on number... These are all Dalton. So it's number, number eight, isn't it? Number eight. So this... The, Oh, 80 bloody quid. Sorry, 80 quid. What about the Coke can? Were well, you including the Coke can? Oh, yeah, might as well. 80p. Oh. 
80 pound 80 she was 120 quid lower <laughs> sorry queen mum sorry mum sorry ma'am 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 is in the ham alright now the Bell's Whiskey yep do you want me to reveal the price sealed unused 90th birthday tell me when to reveal it 20 quid Oh, 73 smackers. 73. Still it's lower than the glass pearls. They come in at 120 quid from off the off the high street. <laughs> but, oh, now this must be worth something because it was life size. And um, for, for my birthday. And you've got this with you? You've got it? No, it's still at Clarence House. Oh, but you're going to ship it from Clarence House? It's very heavy. All right, so let's have a look. So, do you want me to reveal? Yes. 35 grand. Chaffing over £35,000. £35,000 with your daughter's fizz on. I'm going to be bloody rolling in it because the uh, tiara's only 31. <laughs> ah, yeah. Well, that makes a total of um, 35,527,96, yeah? Yeah, okay. So, tot up your scores and let us know how you've done. Um, a lot of people have enjoyed this round. Lots of love coming in for you, for the Queen Mum. From uh, Elliot and Caroline have sent lots of love to you. You say hello to Elliot. Hello, Elliot. <laughs> Is he a playwright? No. Is no. he a jockey? No. He's, he's, a, he's a little... He's a boy. He's a friend of ours. Uh, oh, Marks are coming in. Uh, BG Bear got two. Ellen Meadows got five. Jason Darty got seven. Nibbles and Bubbles, six. Wilvina, six. Paul McFarlane, six. Pip got five. Lee Fern got six. Seven Network got five and said it's the best round yet. Dale Ibbotson got five. Ali McGuinness got six. David Moore got seven. Andrew Chapman got eight. David Morsley got five. Hello Hello Clitty got eight. John James got seven. Boy Crazy Boy got six. Leslie Ann got five. Fizz got five. Pomizana got six. Over on this side... Um, how much was the tiara, asked Zoe? 31 grand. Uh, Filippo Yakimo got four out of ten. Belinda Baum got seven. Kate Riding, seven. Lisa Driscoll got six. Hick and Jojo got seven. Five for the Bournemouth Massif. Five for Jason Brett. Four Stephen Richards. Joel William Hazeling got seven. Four for the Scarborough Boys. Uh, six for Mizana. Uh, Leslie Ann Lynch says, "Can the Queen Mother stay for the rest of the quiz?" I'm afraid I've got to go. So we're having we're having fog by tea time, and I've got to get on my merry way. Tracy thirty got nine out of ten. Yeah. Angela Larson got five. Uh, Rich Dudley got six. So you're gonna? I'm gonna sod off now. You're gonna sod off. I'm gonna say hello to your little Susan. You're gonna say hello to my Susan. Little little corgi dog. Peggy, yeah, oh, you say hello to Peggy Susan. on the way out. Uh, we are going to play another of the um, giggle boxes. So you've got to guess what movie the giggle boxes are watching. I want to thank you for popping in from the afterlife. <laughs> what is this? Television set? No, it's the internet. It's the computer. So we're streaming live oh, at yeah. the moment. Yeah. Um, I see she's staying in all weekend, isn't she? Who, the, who your daughter? Yeah, Lily Beth. You'd have been out partying, oh, wouldn't you? Okay. I'd have been on the old, on the old drinks. <laughs> All right, well, it's been lovely having you with us, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, Leslie Ann Lynch also says it's been lovely having you with yeah. us, ma'am. Sorry, not ma'am. Mm. Uh, so it's all sold then? It's all sold? It all sold. Oh, so yeah. how much did you make? Uh, uh, just uh, nigh on 36 grand. <laughs> Good, well, well done. That'll come in handy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, we're going to uh, giggle box number four. You're l- trying to guess what film they're watching. We'll be back on the other side of this. Bye, Queen Mum. Goodbye. It's nice, isn't it, that we've got an extra long weekend, thanks to her match. Oh, yeah. Another excuse for a good piss up. What, what are we doing at the Abbey? Well, I don't know what you're doing, but I'm, I'm off around the village. Oh. So, it's time these stingy bastards get the sherry out. Uh, are we doing anything at the church on Sunday? Well, you might be, I'm not. Why not? I've got two uh, fates to go to, and then a summer fair, and then uh, down to Pig and Whistle. For the carvery? For the carvery and the piss up. Oh, let's watch these movies then. Oh. Mm. 
Now, I've only seen this a couple of times. It's sort of, I get a bit bored. Oh, do you? I love the odd musicals. Mm. Nothing beats a 1950s musical or 60s musical. I think it's Rogers and Hammerstein, isn't it? Yeah, Rogers and Hammerstein. Yeah. yeah right. <laughs> Oh, this bloody thing goes on forever and ever, doesn't it? No, it's so it's lovely story though, isn't it? Oh, it makes us feel really hot. Pom pom pom, pom pom pom, bara pom, pom pom bara da da da, pom pom pom, etc. 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 Getting to know you, and getting to know all about you. You're through that karaoke. I was thinking of doing sugar babes. Which one? Round, round. Well, I don't remember this one. No, I've not seen it before. I've seen something with a similar story. Uh, from that thing where, where that man eats meat. That man eats humans. But Jodie Foster? Yeah, that's her. I saw, I saw her in something like this. Oh, she was. She was in a remake of this with... Yeah, um, chewing the Fat. <laughs> with... Chewing the Fat. Is that the name of the actor that played, you know, yeah. him in the, the remake? Oh, OK. Chewing the Fat. Mm. I wish women dressed like that still. You don't be walking around being M's in that. No. Incredibly shelves. Oh, it's one of people would keep the distance though, wouldn't they? Socially distanced in that skirt. I can tell you what, uh, a woman down our street went be all right, man. She f- mixed chickens from the from the from, from Asda. <laughs> she got the lovely trifle bowl. Did she? Yeah. <laughs> Where did she stick that? Well, I don't ask. I looked it up in the library when I was waiting for Mrs. Buckham. Um, she was, what were we taking back? That Dale Winton book, weren't you? And um, I had picked through the movie books. Anyway, the romance between him and Anna is all fictitious. Didn't happen. Oh, I thought the whole thing was fictitious. Is it based on fact? Well, so, yeah, he brought somebody over from England to teach his bairns English. Oh. Now, I was um, reading about the stage version of this. Oh. And um, Anna was, was played by Gertrude Lawrence. Oh, lovely Gertie, married yeah. to Noel. Is this, like, the man from Annie? Because, like, he's bald and he sings? Yeah, I think so, but she's grown up and they've got lots of bands now and then they're in, the, in, like, a foreign land. So it's like Annie, but they've gone, like, back in time? Yeah. Oh, They're wow. in that country where they make cheap trainers. Oh, <laughs> wow, OK. Was he naturally bald? No. Shaved for the role? Yes, yeah, so he wanted to be, like, the King of Siam. But he, he liked the look, so he kept it up. I've shaved for a number of roles. I know, I heard that. Mm, yeah. Those films I did in the 70s with Asquith. Yeah, sometimes you didn't need, need, need to, did you? No, I just liked that look. And then he, that, you know, him, he then goes to a Wild West and starts shooting people. Oh, like, should we fast forward to that bit then? Yeah. Get me to know. I think to know all about you. Did this, so the little bald man, was he the uh, cowboy in that film? With the silver eyes? With the, yeah. ro- the robot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one who minces down a corridor yeah. and it's meant to be frightening? Yeah. He had 19 wives and 82 kids. Good gracious me. I would like to be in there house on bed washing day, would you, love? <laughs> Was he in the stage show with her? He, he did nothing but the stage show. But did he not? 4,600 performances. Goodness me, you'd get bored of that. I did 782 of No No Nanette. I did Mousetrap. You did? You did that for quite a few years, didn't you? Yes, yes. You've never told me who done it. I can't. You've got to, you've got to buy a ticket. <laughs> oh, we dance cha-cha-cha to the thing. No, it's like Strictly, isn't it? It is a bit, isn't it? Seven! Good, welcome back. Uh, I'm laughing at Belinda Balm's comment. She said, if anyone's interested, she set up a Queen Mum memorial tribute line, three minutes of silence, calls £3.50 minute. Well done. Uh, don't write your answers in the comments, those of you who've joined us late. We're going to give you all the answers uh, towards the end of the night. Alan is back with us now. Poor Alan uh, missed the visit of the Queen Mother. Oh, have I? Yeah, he was downstairs with Peggy um, and the ghost wafted in and she's wafted back. Um, so we have uh, we have to hand over to Sherry and Brandy in the phone room who are going to tell you who is currently in the lead. Where do I begin? 
Oh, I've just been like Top Gun preparing all this. <laughs> What's he called? Thomas Cruise. Yeah. You have, haven't you? Right, the first one is this. All right. A little test. Tell is, me what you think. Is it royal? Sorry? Is it a royal? Oh, yeah. Are you going to tell me what's in it? Okay, it's a bit first. Bloody hell. Save some for me. Oh. Oh, it's got a kick. That's a Buckingham Blow job. <laughs> and that is Sherry Amaretto and Umbongo. <laughs> it was delicious. Yeah, I thought you'd like that Sorry, one. Sorry, am I meant to be saving you some? No, you're all right. All right, this one's next. Oh, it's quite a long one, isn't it? Yeah. I you're... quite like a long one. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, it smells strong. Is that all right? You can burp if you want, love. Oh, yeah. That is the Queen Mother. Okay. <laughs> and that is gin, vodka and 7-Up. Oh, it's lovely, actually. It's yep. got a real kick. Write these down. Try them at home. So nice. There we go. I don't like the look of this one. I don't like creamy things in my mouth. Mm. No, no, that one. No, I don't like that one. That's called a, a corgi turd. <laughs> and that is Kahlua, chocolate milkshake and a Malteser. Oh, effect. is that what that is? Yeah, to give the effect. No, not, not, not a winner? Not for me, that one. I prefer me fruity ones. Oh, I think you like this one. Right. I'm again, am I down in it in one? You might as well, sweetheart. You've down everything else. Oh, God. Oh, I've heard the name. <laughs> that was a, a bend over Camilla. <laughs> and that is a peach, archers and taboo. I should have had a look at that while I was drinking that one. I think it'd come back up. <laughs> all right. Hey, next one. Right, I might not be able to drink it all. <laughs> Do you want me to give it a go? Go on. OK. Wow! I knew about that one. Oh, that one's nice. That's called the red-headed Fergie. Oh, I like that one. Yes, and that is gin, vodka, bourbon, and Sunny D. Oh, that one's not even touching the sides. Yeah. Oh, lovely. There we go, and the last one. Oh, the last one. <laughs> one's odd. It tastes strong. Oh! That one just tastes like neat gin. It was. It was called the Prince and Princess Margaret. Oh, they're nice, you know. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Hold up. I'm not mopping that up. Bloody hell. Well, uh, the phone room is as normal. It's in a little bit of chaos. Um, we have two more rounds for you. Um, so let's get straight on with the quiz. Uh, the next round is Famous Elizabeths. Uh, there are 20 Elizabeths you're about to see. You just have to tell us who they are. So you're going to write down 20 names. Uh, these are famous people with the name Elizabeth. Uh so I'm going to run through them. Number one. Who is oh, that? Isn't she pretty? Number two. Who is that? Number three. Number four. I'm hoping this will be a high scoring round for you all. Number five. Number six. Oh, she's got weird head hair. <laughs> you don't like her, do you? It's the alien head. <laughs> Number seven. Who is number seven? Number eight. Ah. Number nine. I can't twitch my nose. No, I can't. I just twitched my mouth. 
Number 10. Number 11. Number 12. Number 13. Number 14. Number 15. Bloody buggers. Number 16. Number 17. Number 18. Number 19. And number 20. So they are 20 famous Elizabeths. Would you like any repeats? Some tricky ones in there, some trick ones in there. Filippo Giacomo is feeling confident with this round. Anyone want any repeats? Any repeats? Yeah, it was so fast. It was too fast for you all. So I'm going to... I'll go through all 20 again, yeah? Yes, yes. Hang on. Who are they? Yeah, yeah, I've just got to work out what number... I just do them all. To. Just do them quick. Okay. One. I'm going to go through them all Perhaps for go you. Big, go for big screen for this one so they can see them. Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. Number nine. Number ten. Number eleven. Number 12. Number 13. Number 14. Number 15. Number 16. Number 17. Number 18. Number 19. And number 20. So, 
Did you get them all? You I had it twice. There was a few that I didn't know. Yeah. There was a, uh, there was a couple that I would have struggled with. Um, but let's go for it. So, the answers. All right, Liam McGee, we'll see you on Wednesday night. Here we go. Number one was, of course, Elizabeth Taylor. It's from Elizabeth a marble, that. Taylor. From the mirror that cracked. From the mirror that cracked. From side to side. Number two. That's Betty Slocum. So, Betty Slocum. Number three. Bet Lynch. Number four. Betty Boothroyd. Betty Boothroyd. I love how, how cocky she's standing there. The like, former speaker. Like it's her house. Do you remember that? She's like that woman who came and asked us what was the, the score when we were in foot. Yeah, yeah. We were What's the holiday? score, lads? <laughs> when we were on holiday on the balcony next door. Yeah, it's exactly the same. Number five. I didn't that know this is one. Elizabeth Bennett. Elizabeth Bennett from Pride and Prejudice. That is Betty Boop. Betty Boop. Betty Boop. Number seven. That is. Liz Hurley. Liz Hurley in that dress. The safety pin dress. Number eight is Betty White. Number nine is Elizabeth Montgomery from Bewitched. Elizabeth Montgomery. Number 10 is Liz Dawn. Liz Dawn from Coronation Street. Number 11, Betty Rubble. Betty Rubble from the Flintstones. Number 12 is Liz Fraser. Liz Fraser, the actress. Number 13 is Betty Eagleton. Betty Eagleton from Emmerdale. You get us. Oh. A... Betty off of Emmerdale will give you a score. Oh, definitely, yeah. I, I wouldn't know her surname. Betty off of Emmerdale. Off of Emmerdale. That is Liz MacDonald. Liz MacDonald from Coronation Street. That is, of course, Lizzie Birdsworth from Cell Block H. Got to include Lizzie. Lizzie Birdsworth from Prison Cell Block H. That is... Betty Turpin. Betty Turpin or Betty Driver. <laughs> Betty Turpin or Betty Driver. Or Betty Hop Hop. That is the actress Liz Smith, who of course played Nana Royal. Liz Smith. That is Beth Jordash. Beth Jordash from Brookside. That's a tricky one. Beth Jordash. Number 19 is Ugly Betty. See what Filippo's written? Filippo has said uh, that Ugly Betty's full name was Beatrice. Um, no one likes a smart Alec. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ugly Betty. I mean, are these called the Thin Elizabeths? And number 20 is Thin Lizzie. So Thin Lizzie. Uh, tot in your scores. Let us know your scores. We are going to hand over to the phone room as you put in your scores um, to check how you're getting on. Um, so uh, let's hand it over to the phone room. So how would you do for the scores? 
Scores are coming in. They're coming in thick and fast, doing really well. It was a high scoring round. Uh, we've got lots of 19s, lots of 18s. Uh, 15 for Ali McGuinness. Claude Recuise, 13. Uh, Angela Larson only got six there. BG Bear, 20. Um, I think Stephen uh, Martin Hyde got 20. Joel got 13. Uh, Philippe Go, oh, I, didn't, I didn't say. Lisa got 11. Uh, Mayor M. Enver got 12. Joel um, William got 13. Whoop, whoop. We are going to... So, I'm aware of the time. We don't want to keep you dead long. So, we're going to go over to the final giggle box round. Um, so, we have the final giggle box round. Then we come back. There is a final round. And then we tot it all up and wrap it up. So, we'll get you out of here by half ten. By last orders. Um, but let's go over to the giggle boxes for the final time. For the last film of the five films that they have been watching. Stand. I, I thought <laughs> no, she's like celebrating her birthday or something. I thought that idiot with the blonde hair and the scruffy suit with the king. No, you're talking about Bojo. Yeah. Bojo's like the PM. He's married to like hashtag Carrie Johnson. Like that monkey is like massive. Is that the shard? Do you know who he reminds me of? No. That fella you went out with from Macclesfield. Oh, Harry Derrick. Yeah, yeah, he was just like him, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, he was, yeah. Oh, big. Do you know, it, it was so handy when I was moving. <laughs> was it? Oh, yeah. Could lift a couch in one arm. Don't like monkeys. I cannot watch monkey films. They give me nightmares. This film, are you into the... Uh, Remakes or the uh, 1933 original? Well, there's been a lot of these, hasn't there? It's like Godzilla. He pops up everywhere, this one. Yeah, can't keep up any remakes. I, I love this old black and white. Yeah, it's my favourite, my favourite. <laughs> now, have you, have, you seen, have you actually watched this properly? I like it. I like Clint Eastwood. Yeah. Isn't, he, isn't, he, isn't this the one with Clint Eastwood and the orangutan? No, no, this is that one where it's that big massive monkey. Oh, I'm getting, causes, my, I'm getting my simian movies They bring up. it from that tropical island and it causes a mark in New York City. Oh, that was like you, wasn't it, when we went to uh, the Isle of Shippy? Oh, on that, on that end party weekend. Oh, yeah, you ran a mock. Just me, do you know, I think somebody put some magic that night. Do you? One minute I was having a snowball, next minute I'm trying to climb up BHS, wasn't I? You were. Bloody hell. <laughs> Whatever happened to Fay Ray? Okay, that delicate satin draped frame. You've not liked monkeys since that woman told you that a monkey uh, pulled off a woman's face, have you? But it's true. They were giving it a cup of tea and it pulled the face off. The, these gates, the big, the ones he comes out of on the island. Oh yeah, yeah. Didn't they burn those down when they made Gone with the Wind? Most probably. I think they burnt it on. on well, they did a lot. Of, it's like changing rooms, isn't it? They do a lot of like recycling. They do, do a lot of recycling. Yeah. that changing rooms. Yeah. Yeah. They burnt it all to make the the burning of Atlanta. Was that Mary Chipperfield? I don't know. They're having a tea party with PG tips. It had a drink of it and it pulled the face off. Look, it's like him. He's got a pair of bloody gates in the back garden. Has he? Yeah. So he burn them because I can't have them in, in the garden hanging about. There's a skip on uh, Tyndall Street. Get him to pop them in that. We've filled that already. Oh, have you? Yeah. It's about six streets away from you. It's all right, he's a big lad. Oh, it's black and white. Oh, I don't like black and white films. Do you know what? I was looking forward to this one, but I misread the title. I thought that second word said dong. I know, I've seen that film. What I want to know is, those poor people that's like halfway up the building, what, guess what they'll see at the window? Oh, I don't know, Fay Ray waving in. Those big monkey... Oh, big monkey Monkey nuts. balls. Now, you, when Fay Ray, when dear Fay Ray died, they dimmed the lights on the Empire State Building in her memory. Oh, yeah. Dear, dear love. Yeah. Sorry, Mrs. Buckham. Monkey Balls. Oh. Smashed against the window. Was Monkey Balls a Groucho Marx film? No, is that woman that name of that woman that just come in? <laughs> just sell us fish. Oh, yeah. I've not seen her around for a long time. Oh. I think she might be inside. It's very sad, you know, I, I rode when he fell off that building. Did you? Yeah. Oh, it was Beauty that killed the beast. That's another film, isn't it? No, that's the last line, I think. Oh, is it? it? Yes. 
Where was that? It was potential profit in my left. Cut that off. Lop it off. Oh, this gets me thinking. It gets me itchy. We've only just come out of COVID and now we've got monkeypox. I know. Can you imagine him taking that to New York? Oh, I know. It all shut down again. Oh, honestly. It's major with someone that size. Is it, it, like, is it like chicken pox, but from monkeys? Will, ca- will chamomile lotion do it? Oh, I don't know. I'm staying out of B&M's until it's finished. Oh, yeah. I stay out there all, all the time. It riddled. You know why he's climbing up that big tall building, don't you? No. He's got a plane to catch. Did you get to that one? So that is our final visit to the Giggle Boxers. So now you've got five titles of movies. Um, we're going to give you the answers at the very end of the quiz, but we do have one final round for you. Um, so a final round. We're going to play the final round right now. It's everyone's favourite, and we've got lots of special guests for it. So the final round is... And appearing tonight on Blanky Blank, playwright and author Alan Bennett, sewing bee judge Esme Young, isolation creations weather girl Tamsin, shopping channel host Bobby Glint, professional wag Suki Plonger, bus protester Dame Maggie Bog. So we're going to play blankety blank. Um, So you have got to fill in the blanks. You know the rules of blankety blank. I'm going to give you a a sentence. You've got to decide what word should go in the blank. And then if you get a match with one of our celebrities' answers, you score a point. So people understand blankety blank, don't they? And also, if, if if, if the word that you've chosen is similar to the one that... The, one of the celebrities gives, you get a point. You're in charge of the points. You know how blankety blank works. You're flipping over your little things. Um, so if, some, if it says E, damn, and you put Dairy Lee, you get a bloody point. You get a bloody point. Um, so, number one. So you've got to fill in the blank. Um, so, number one. Sherry Stump told me she had once met the Queen, or, as she called her, the woman off the blank. Sherry Stump told me she had once met the Queen, or as she called her, the woman off the blank. So you've got to write in what you think it is. Write a little word. Your answers are... Mm. (laughs) Martin Heights just said he thought I was shirtless and this was my tattoos. (laughs) Oh yeah, it's it's a bit nude, isn't it? Uh... No, this is, I'm, I'm a hairy boy. Um, so, Sherry Stump told me she had once met the Queen, or as she called her, the woman off the... My mother's silver jubilee biscuit tin. On a ten pound note. Oh. Licky stamps. On the stamps. Yeah, it is. Stamps. I wrote something what I see a lot of. <laughs> 50 pound notes. Off the buses. Oh, it always happens. Always one, one time. Always one time. happens. One time we do it. He has a drink. <laughs> and then he forgets about the new band. So, the answers are biscuit tin, £10 note, stamps, stamps, £50 note, off the buses. Um, 
So if you wrote money, you like, get two or points. coin, or if you wrote coin, yeah. you put you get a point. If you get stamps, you got two points. Um, if you wrote buses, you get an MBE. <laughs> yeah. If you wrote biscuits, and you get a point. Um, sorry, my fault. My fault. Um, uh, so next one. So you got to think like our celebrities. Think like our celebrities. Sometimes the queen wakes up too early. Instead of lying there awake in bed, she prefers to get up. And polish her blank or blanks. Sometimes the queen wakes up too early. Instead of lying there awake in bed, she prefers to get up and polish her blank or blanks. Oh, a few of you said off the telly for the last one. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, sometimes the queen wakes up too early. Instead of lying there awake in bed, she prefers to get up and polish her... I just went with the jewels. Uh, crown jewels and necklaces. Nails. I bet it's a leather handbags. Yes. I thought because she's got so many of them, she'd most probably be polishing her necklaces. Polishing my swindlers. So the answers there were jewels, crown jewels, nails, leather handbags, necklaces, bus windows. So if you got jewels or necklaces, you got three points, yeah? Yeah, if you brought any kind of jewel or crown or brooch or scepter or... Yeah, you get three points. Jewels, crown jewels, necklaces. Uh, if you wrote nails, um, you get a point. And if you wrote bus windows... You're a fan of Maggie Boggs. Think like Maggie Bog and you could score high. <laughs> <laughs> point for crown. Yeah, of course. You're marking it yourselves. So you get a point for the crown. Crown, crown jewels. And you even get a point for family jewels. Um, next one. Prince Charles complained. Now that I'm bald, Camilla thinks my head is an egg. Last night, she tried to blank it. Prince Charles complained. Now I'm bald, Camilla thinks my head is an egg. Last night, she tried to blank it. Prince Charles complained, now I'm bald, Camilla thinks my head is an egg. Last night she tried to... What I'd do, pop it in an egg cup. Pucker it? Have you tried puckered eggs, Patrick? Hmm? Lay it. With all that wild game in the area, I bet it's uh, poached. <laughs> oh, she's just like us, I reckon, so she try and boil it. <laughs> Goodness me. Park it at the bus depot. So the answer's there, pop it, <laughs> pop it in an egg cup, crack it open, lay it, poach it, boil it, or park it at the bus depot. I'm sure Alex is scoring quite highly in this round. Ah, uh, yes, boys. Um, yeah, so pop it in an egg cup, crack it open, lay it, poach it, boil it, park it at the bus depot. Or pop it in your coping stones. Uh, number four, number four in the blankety blank round. The Queen doesn't watch modern television. She thinks a Kardashian is a blank or blanks. The Queen doesn't watch television, so she thinks a Kardashian is a blank or blanks. Da, 
This is the second to last question. Yeah, we we wanted to play the music throughout. But we'd get slapped. But you know what happened. Scylla, Scylla's police are in. I called Scylla's police Scylla's bobbies. <laughs> the Scylla bobbies are in. Um, so, uh, what number? One, two, three, four. Read the question again. The Queen doesn't watch modern television. She thinks a Kardashian is a... I thought you said car dash in, so I thought express car wash. A corgi and dash and mixed. Kardashian. Hmm? One of the real housewives. I don't think I know anyway. Oh, there was a Japanese car. <laughs> <laughs> I've got it right. Oh, I just wrote a football's team. The Park and Ride Bus Service, P32. So the answer's there. An express car wash, a type of dog, a real housewife, a Japanese car, a football team, or a park and ride bus service. Specifically, P32. The P32. Which takes you round the Robins. Which takes you round the Robins. Uh, so you get a point if you matched with one of our celebrities. The final question of the quiz. Although Princess Anne is 71, she is still very active. In fact, every morning she has a ride on her blank. Although Princess Anne is 71, she is still very active. In fact, every morning she has a ride on her blank. So this is your last one. So you'll get the answers to this, then you'll get the answers to the giggle box, and then we'll get your totals. So think like our celebrities. Although Princess Anne is 71, she is still very active. In fact, every morning she has a ride on her. Oh, now she's one royal I do like. So I said she'd be riding her horse, Sir John. Pocket Placket, a show jumping horse. I've got lots of these. My little, her little ponies. Oh, it'll be one of the thoroughbred horses, won't it? Yeah. If she's anything like my viewers, she'd be after an exercise bike. And I've written down the product code there, so they are going fast. So if you want one, you phone in. <laughs> the local bus service. Free with an OAP pass. Crazy not to. So there we are. The answers there were horse, horse, pony, horse, exercise bike, or local bus service. So if you said horse, you got four points there. Uh, if you said local bus service, we adore you for, for realising that that's what Maggie said. Um, don't write dildo in the Facebook comments anymore because Facebook will mostly ban us. Um, or rabbit. <laughs> oh, you can mess with rabbit. So we want you to top up your scores from blankety blank. But also, before you do that, or as you're doing that, I'm going to reveal what the five films were that the giggle boxers were watching. Or do you want to? Do you want to tell us? Yeah, you do. And it gets it'll get car it'll get difficult. But quite oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. film one that the giggle boxers were watching was an Australian film. Uh it was about drag and they uh cock and a frock and a rock. They wanted to be a cock and a frock and a rock or a minge with a ginge on a binge. Um Guy Pierce from Neighbours was in it. Uh Terence Stamp who played General Zod was in it. Anyone guess what that film was? So, number one film. Yeah, we've got a few of you. Alex and uh, Mark were getting bus services, I think. So, I think they, 
They cottoned on. Uh, Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. Yeah, Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. Uh, good. Lots of you got that right. Number two. This was a Disney film. Uh, it was about animals. Uh, there was a farting hairy pig in it. There were a couple of actors that never met. Um, there was... They hid Mickey Mouse in lots of things in the film. There was also a rumour that they put a willy in the clouds. It was a sad film. The music was written by Elton John. Can you feel the love this weekend? Paul and Diane got it. Lion King. ZZ Roberts got it. Of course, it was The Lion King. Loads of you got that one, The Lion King. So the first title had... uh, Queen. Queen. This one had King. King. Uh, Can you see where we're bloody going with this? The next one, number three, which a lot of you found quite difficult. Number three was a fairy tale film. It was a comedy film. It had Columbo in it and the little boy from the Wonder Years. It was made in the 80s. Andre the Giant. Andre the Giant is in it. There's a character called Buttercup. There is a character called Wesley. Mandy Patinkin is in it. And a whole range of English celebrities. Uh, Billy Crystal is in it. Mel Smith. No, sorry, Mel. Yeah, some of you got it. The Princess Bride. Paul McFarlane got it. Ellen Meadows got it. Parmesan, I thought it was a never-ending story. Close but no cigar. Maria got it uh, from Mark and Maria. The Princess Bride. Princess Bride. Um, I, I sometimes get, yeah, get that mixed up with um, never-ending never story. story. Yeah, Prince, uh, It played at the cinema here recently. I think Nibbles and Bubbles went to see it. Mandy Patinkin is, of course, one of my secret crushes. Well, not secret. One of my big crushes. And Andre the Giant is one of mine. <laughs> Look, oh, big okay. hands. Uh... Uh, the next film was Rogers and Hammer Time music, um, a musical from the fifties about a governess who goes somewhere hot, meets a stern man with lots of kids, and she has to teach his children English, etc., etc., etc. There was a remake with Jodie Foster and Ch- Chewing the Fat. Chewing the Fat. Um, they wore big skirts. King and I, King and I, the King and I, the King and One. Shall we? The King and I. Yeah, the King and I. Good. Loads of you got it. The last film in, so the last film in the round, and I'm sure you've got this. Big Monkey. Big Monkey. Climbing up a building. Climbing up a building. Fay Ray was in it. Um, Monkey Balls. We talked about Monkey Balls. Monkey Balls at Floor 32. There were the big gates that got burnt down in Gone with the Wind to create the burning of Atlanta. Um, it's been remade a number of times. Um, I think Babs and Courtney just talked about monkeys ripping off people's faces. And does he have a fight with that big dinosaur from Japan? Godzilla, most probably. Most probably. King Kong, you all got it. Yeah, King Kong. King Kong. So you got a point for each of those giggle boxes. You got a point for the matches in the blankety blank. You get points for all the questions you've done. I got the total that you're looking at now as being the grand total. If you scored 100%, the grand total would be 92. I tried to get it to 90. No, it won't, it won't be 92. We've, we've cut a round out um, because we were running over time. So it would be 82. 82 is your top score. So these are out of 82. So, I'm going to start giving you some my answers. Nibbles and Bubbles, 57. Well done. Uh, well done, well done. David Moore, 55. Alex Clark, 55. Paul McFarlane, 61. Scylla Black just lost count but had a laugh. And she's manning the cloakroom as well. Martin Garden spent 68. Justin Coates, 44. Justin and Danny. Justin and Danny, we need to go out and drink soon. Kate uh, Riding, 55. Ali McGuinness, such a... Big, high-scoring start. She got 59 total. Ellen Meadows, 49. Melanie, 52. Paul, 63. Fizz, 50. Dale Ibbotson, 62. Marcia, Steve Richards, 42. Marcia and Ewan. Ewan, you'd have loved the round that got cut. Nigel Allen, TC, 60. 38. Rich Dudley, 60. Richard Bobbins, Duffer, 59. Hello Clitty, 77. Belinda, 44. Pitt, 49. Filippo Pippendick, 59. Will Vina, 62. Hick and Jojo got 52. John James got 44. The lovely Martin Hyde got 69. Parmesan is just as confused as we are. Bournemouth Massive, 50. Lee Fern got 46. Jonathan Brett Warren, 28. 
Andrew Chapman, 69. Leslie Ann Lynch got 62. The Joel William Hazeldean of Windsor, 50. Uh, Claude Recruse, 62. His girlfriend, Sarah, 32. Uh, Ellen Meadows missed the first round. BG Bear, 55. Angela Larson, 17. Sorry, Zizi's got, Lot in Bournemouth got 56. John James, 54 and a half. Elaine Simpson, 43, I think, or 45. It's just disappeared. Uh, Kim Farr got, Elaine Simpson, 45. Kim Farr got four, but she's only just joined about three minutes ago. Uh, Caroline Humphrey's got 64. Yes. Uh, Elliot's not much use, but I think Caroline's with Becky Coates, who's Alison's daughter, and her fiancé. So they've helped out there. Um, who have I got over here? John James, 54.5. David and Anne, that's my mum and dad, 35. Boy Crazy, 44. Regardless of the score, Leslie Ann Lynch says, tonight was absolutely hilarious. Parmesana says, I love you guys. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Belinda did great, but Daniel the gerbil was no use at all. Martin Hyde says, get an invite. Yeah, we need a Scarborough night out. The Scarborough Massive. We all need to go out for a drink. Tracy, 30, got 70. Zanduck, 25 and a half. Andrew Chapman, 7. Um, everyone's a winner. Really good night. Thank you. Jubilee night. Lucy. She's with Lucy. So Alison's other daughter, Lucy Coates. And new boyfriend, not engaged. So no fiance. Lucy. Lucy, who's, I think, a, a, a huge, huge YouTube star. We could learn a lot from Lucy. Melanie says, has Queen Mom left her handbag behind? No, but I know what's in it. It's there. She has. Rose-flavoured chocolates, fags, little bottles of gin and little bottles of Debonair. Sarah Simpson noticed that the Queen Mum was wearing a pair of glasses that she sent to Alan. Yes, <laughs> sweetheart. Birthday. Yes, you sent them. And they're beautiful and wonderful. Thank you. I, wa- I want to say a big thank you to everyone who has opened their little purses at this hard time and donated to us, given us a tip. We are working towards taking the isolation creations live. On the road. <laughs> so taking it out live. So we kind of, these tips are, they're all going into a little pot, which is helping us to buy some, get some proper wigs bespokely made for us. Two are being made at the moment. Two are being made at the moment. Get costumes, get props, buy a big old bingo ball, get a spinning prize wheel. Um, so there's, yeah, your your <coughs> tips are really helpful. And I looked at the break and a lot of you had been so generous. So thank you. If you've not thank done you, it Claire. yet, there's the little link. Um, you click it, it takes you to a really secure site. And the suggested donation is £3, which would buy us a coffee. But of course, some of you have been way more generous than that. And we, like our hearts go out to you. We put in a huge amount of work this week and um, it's been worth it because it was, I mean, it's not work. You see how much I laugh when we're making we it. We have fun doing it. Um, and we've, um, we, you know, we're always inspired by you lot. You give us such so many funny ideas and, um, you know, now it's like, you know, what can we do to make you lot laugh? And what, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so we like, you know, like the little bits we're putting in is like thinking about you guys and the... Uh, the Branchy Blank round was going to be like celebrities. And then we thought, oh, no, you'd like to see people like Maggie Bog and Sookie Plunger popping up. And uh, Will Venus says he'll help with wigs as well. Will's been working on a coronet wig. I didn't even know what a coronet wig was. Like Bet Lynch. Pals? <laughs> Pals? I don't think I've shown you it. It's amazing. Um, guys, thank you for joining us. Do we have drinks? Are we going to have yeah, a we're we're lock in? If you want to stay for a little lock in, have a chat, that's fine. Yeah, if you want to hang out and have a lock in with us, hang out. Um, but huge thanks to everyone who joined us. Um, I'm going to put the link in. Uh, Jason, if you can put the link, can you put the link to the tip in the um, YouTube room? Is Jason, Jason our little Miss Moneypenny? Jason's our little Miss, Miss Moneypenny. Jason's our. She's in a little office in Bristol. Jason's just so dear to us. It's lovely. To me, oh. especially because, like, we when we got raided by those horrible Nazis, Jason realised I got so upset by it and volunteered to be our bouncer. And honestly, he means the world to me that he does this um, because. It just helps us out so much. So we don't have to get stressed, do we? I don't really? have to get stressed. So stressed. Jason stressed. is massive thanks to us. I've put the link to the coffee page in Facebook. It's in YouTube as well. And it's there on the screen. Means the world to us. If you've enjoyed tonight and you'd have paid £5 to see it at the theatre, £10, whatever you'd have paid to see this sort of night, if you can spare it at the moment. And 
times is hard. Uh, it will help. And I promise you it's going to go to some amazing like wigs, lashes. We've got to buy snag tights. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a, big, I'm a big girl, but um, if if not, we'll roll down my knees, <laughs> and we don't want to see that. We're gonna um, we are gonna head over to the phone room for one last time, um, but we're gonna say goodbye. But we'll be back if you want to have a little lock in. If you want to hang out with us, hang out with us. But um, those of you who've been here for the two and a half hours that we've been with you, thank you so for much. For those that have joined us and been with us for the past two and a half hours, we love you. There's our little girl. She has got so hot in this room. Because we've had to have the blackout blinds up and the window closed because of the um, jubblies. So she's a little hot girl. Um, but thank you so much. Let's hand over to the phone room because the phone room, Should we've, be. we've sent down a trophy. Sherry said she's going to jump out of a cake to, for the grand winner. So let's find out. I think she's going to ring you up, whoever who the winner won. is. Yeah, she's going to ring the winner. So who won? Oh, hi, is that Big Bob? <laughs> Can I have a taxi, please, Dal? Yeah. A isolation creation of towers. Yeah. To the council estate. Thank you very glad. Take a drink for the ride. <coughs> Sherry! <laughs> Sherry! Can you get us a bag of chips? Oh, I'm just gonna sleep here. <laughs> <laughs>